doing who we got in here I'm gonna wait for a couple people to get in here and then we're gonna start gonna start this off okay rolling in all right what's good guys it's your boy Justin J coming to you with a live stream and I want to talk about this topic because you know the last video that I dropped what's good guys so I'm gonna answer comments uh, guys if you want to make sure that I don't skip over your comment just donate send a super chat I don't care how big just so I don't go over it because a lot of the times in the last live I did, and even the one before it, that one, it just kept going crazy and crazy. And then I saw people like, well, damn, you're ignoring me. And bro, I'm not ignoring you. It's just that it's a lot. And I really want to help all my brothers. So just send a super chat. I don't care how much it is. All right. So the topic of today's live stream, tonight's live stream, is how to improve your dating life and develop a standard of how you deal with women. All right. So you know the video that I just dropped? about um what was the title of that video you know you really shouldn't you know let your success with women dictate who you are as a man or let it define you all right so this is going to be kind of going into that and i got some real life examples that i'm going to throw in here to show you that you know when you create a standard of how you deal with women it's not necessarily you telling a woman you have to do x y and z in the beginning because that's just going to scare away women and see a lot of the reasons why dudes have a problem with their dating life and they're not really getting the most out of it you know seeing the best sides of a woman and enjoying themselves is because they have high expectations when you meet a woman right you guys are just taking everything you know slow you know everything's cool you're not in a rush for anything you know sex is supposed to happen yes but as far as you know trying to get her to do things and stuff like that listen you want to test the waters why do you think i tell you when you're first meeting up with a chick tell her to go to the store and grab you a soda and some chips and then bring it to your house just to see where it's going the direction if she says okay i got you we're good here if she gives you pushback or resistance, you're like, mm, I see this chick needs some work. I'm going to have to teach her how to treat me. But a lot of the times when a woman is very highly interested in you, that's just going to be a given. It's not going to be a problem for her to spend five dollars. <laughs> Guys, number one problem in their dating life is not having one. OK, well, I'm going to help with that, too. And see, this video isn't going to be surface level like, oh, well, where can you go to meet more women? No, listen, you can meet women anywhere. You just have to give women an opportunity to see you. So, yes, you have to go out, but there's no specific place that you can go to that, you know, more women are going to be attracted to you and drawn to you and start talking to you. No, you have to go up and make approaches anyway. OK, so when I'm saying keep your expectations very low with women. I got you. So when I say keep your expectations very low with women, you have to remember that women are human beings. You know, women do a bunch of goofy stuff, but they're still human beings. OK, this is another thing about dudes. OK, when you get approach anxiety, when you see a hot chick or you see a chick that you like. Right. And you're like, you know what? Damn, I'm nervous. I don't know if I should go over there and talk to her. You know, if you're an attractive guy, it's like that vice versa for women. When they see you, they get nervous, especially with this whole like choosing signals thing. That's why you have to go talk to women, because if you're an attractive dude, you know, women will be aggressive with you sometimes. But for the most part, they're nervous. That's why they're walking back five times, back and forth, back and forth. That's why they keep staring at you. They're like, can he just get it and come over here and talk to me? See, when you get used to biting off of those signals and you go talk to the woman, that's like literally the first step to starting a dating life and enjoying it. Because once you get over that fear of rejection, you're going to be like, OK, I understand that approaching is the same as the dating apps, because the dating apps always get popping when you FaceTime call, when you voice note, when you send voice notes, you can have a chick meet up with you. Then you see, OK. My dating life isn't so bad. I'm getting the ball rolling. So 
I'm going to keep it simple for you dudes. If you were to go out in a week and approach two, three chicks, jump on a dating app and just, just start swiping, 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 start answering prompts, right? You're going to get a lot of matches. I'm telling you. Now, will they be from the hottest women? No, but you will get some good looking women in there. Okay. Do I have to switch to an iPhone, bro? <laughs> no. So look, you will get matches in there and then you start developing this sense of going out, you know, meeting up with chicks or having chicks come to you. And you understand that this isn't so bad. What I mean too about keep your expectations low, you don't want to scare a woman off. You know, I had a one-on-one -on -one call with a brother. And if you're in here, thank you for, you know, getting on the call with me because this is a teachable moment. Okay. So he goes out on a first date with a chick and he's telling her like, yeah, I like for my girls to dress for me and only me. I don't like girls that go out here and do this. And, you know, I don't like girls with a lot of male friends and this and the third. So he progresses like he takes her from the date, brings her to his house and then he moves in like for the kiss on her. And she's like, wait a minute. So do you really get affectionate fast with chicks that don't live up to your standards? And he was like, I was so confused. Like, why would she say that? And I'm like, she said that because she knew that she can't live up to your standards, but you messed up and you squandered the situation because you had high expectations out of a chick that doesn't owe you anything. You're just interacting. You're giving her a chance to see that you're like a dope ass dude. You know, you live life on your terms. You know how to actually interact with a woman. See, this is what I'm saying. You see how a woman really is and then you just make the determining factor like you make that you make that thought in your head like, oh, I'm just dealing with her recreational use only or, oh, this chick is relationship material. But you really can't even know if she's relationship material until you keep going on uh, not consistent dates, but you keep having her meet up with you. You keep talking to her. You pick her brain a little bit. All right. I'm going to answer some questions. Hey man, feeling blessed today. That's exactly how you should feel. And that's another part of this video that I really want to explain to dudes. You have to feel like you're that dude. Okay, your dating life is going to get better when you realize that you're that dude. Okay, this is the same thing with approaching women. Okay, you have to automatically think in your mind, you can actually say this to the chick. Oh my gosh, you are sexy. I had to make my way over here to you. I figured I'd brighten up your day. My name is Jocelyn. What's your name? Like, yo, I figured I'd come over here and brighten up your day because I know I'm about to do that. You know, now is every chick going to like your approach? No, some chicks will literally tell you, uh, no, I'm good. I have a boyfriend. Cool, right? But a lot of guys miss this about women. Women talk to everyone. Women talk to everyone. They'll talk to old people. They'll talk to unattractive dudes. Like, bro, they talk to anybody because women are social creatures. So a lot of dudes miss that. They're like, oh, well, she'll probably reject me. Okay, even if she does, she's not going to be that disrespectful about it. You know what I mean? Like when women are talking this stuff, like I don't like dudes to approach me in public. They're really talking about the guys that they're not attracted to. So it's not really true. But see, if you adopt this mindset of, well, no, nah, I'm going to get rejected and women are not going to see me like that. They're not going to like me like that. Your dating life can never get better. You have to literally put yourself in a position where I feel as if I'm offering this chick an opportunity. Now, she cannot take the opportunity, but it's her loss. Because what do you already know about yourself? You're a dope ass dude. You live life on your own terms. You dress well. You smell good. Your beard's in check. You got a good sense of, you know, you look like a man, a masculine dude. Why wouldn't this chick want, and you came over there with the mouthpiece? Why wouldn't she see you as an opportunity? See, she didn't see you as an opportunity because of one of two things. Either one, she's not compatible with you. Two, she's goofy as hell. That's how I look at it when a chick rejects me. You must be out of your mind. And instantly right there, when she's like, no, I'm good or whatever. All right. 
instantly unattractive to me, you know, because I'm offering you an opportunity. See, when you move like that, you're not gonna have high expectations. When you have high expectations, it's always like, well, damn, bro, I'm so outcome dependent. This is really how you're thinking. I'm so outcome dependent that I don't even believe I'm gonna get what I want. Therefore, this isn't gonna go anywhere anyway. Let's just keep it a buck with ourselves. That's where it starts too. When you keep it real with yourself, you're going to understand what you can go after and then nine times out of 10, what you can't go after. But if you're that dude and you keep it real with yourself and you just say to yourself, well, nah, I'm keeping it real with myself. I'm that dude. Just be unapologetically him. Exactly. I'm that dude. I'm walking up to this chick and I'm saying whatever I want, nothing disrespectful, but I'm going to let her know she's sexy. I'm going to let her know I got some free time. I'm coming into some free time Friday night. Are you going to be free? Yo, take your phone out, put my number in it. Straight like that. And you're going to get the ball rolling. But a lot of this stuff really stems from that inner, that inner confidence, bro. All you have to do, I don't know where I said this, right? I don't want to bring this up again. A lot of dudes are asking, how can I get experience with talking to women? Okay, so do you know when you go to a restaurant, that cute waiter that is like serving you at your table? She can't be mean to you. It's her job to be nice to you. You can get practice there. When you're in the mall, right, and you walk up to a kiosk or something and you see a chick that's working there, she looks good. Go up to her, ask her about a product, start talking to her, and you're going to see like she's being kind to me. You know, you're going back and forth. It builds that confidence. I'm saying that to say this, right? When you talk to beautiful women, um, you know, plain Jane looking women, women are all the same. So when you start talking to them in these different scenarios, you figure like, oh, okay, talking to women is easy. It's really nothing to just sit there and have a little bit of banter or go back and forth with a chick, right? So once you're good with that, you're off to the races, okay? What do you talk about with them? What if you have nothing in common? That's very surface level, bro. What do you mean? You're human. Yeah, men and women do different things, but you need to be able to talk to them. Okay, so what happens if you want to go out with a chick, keep seeing her? You have to talk to her, right? This is another part I want to put in here just to clarify everything, okay? Your looks are what get your foot in the door. But you still have to be able to talk to a woman, move a woman. You're going to do two things to really get a chick drawn to you. Make her think and make her feel, okay? Think, feel. Once you got those two things down packed, your dating life is going to get better because you're going to slowly understand that women are the same. They don't offer anything special to you like that, okay? So once you can make them think and feel, you got it in the bag. Why do you think I keep preaching FaceTime from the dating apps? You think I'm just talking to air? You know, FaceTime, the voice notes, women feel like they know you already. You don't even have to take them out on first dates like that. They will come straight over to your house. They will meet you in a parking lot somewhere. They will meet you at the park because they just want to get to know you better. See, I'm never really trying to get to know a chick like that. She's trying to get to know me like that because nine times out of 10, I hear the same rhetoric from chicks. I love the sound of your voice. One, two, you're not like most guys. Three. And then when I ask why, they're just like, oh, because you're just very laid back and chill. Like most dudes are weirdos. That's what I'm telling you. Dudes think that chicks have all these options when really they don't. They just got a bunch of dudes who come at them the same over and over and over again. That's why your dating life is probably going to be stagnant because you're not doing anything to set you apart from every other guy. Listen, dude just came in the comment section of the last video, said, I'm above six foot. I make 5k short of six figures and I'm above six inches or whatever. So I still have to deal with all the goofy stuff from women. Um, women still play all these games with me. That's what I'm saying. You can have all of that stuff going on, all of it. But if you act like every other dude, you just get blended in with every other dude and it hinders your dating life. So, you know, hold on, let me get back to answering questions. I don't want it to get crazy. Edward Cruz, perfect timing, just got in my car, leaving this chick's apartment. Him gang, let's get it. Hey, Justin, what are good places to meet women and make approaches? All right, so I'm gonna put it to you. I'm gonna make it this simple. And can we please get the likes up? We got 83 people watching, 24 likes. Come on, 
come on. I'd like to think I help out a lot of dudes, like, please. Okay, so places to go meet women. Making it more complicated than it has to be when you ask that question. Okay, so right outside of my, uh, my house, right? We have a bagel spot. We have, there's a nail salon over there, like down the street. We got the post office. Um, there's a, an art theater place, like down the road right here. We got Dollar General, we got an ice cream spot, we got 7-Eleven, we, you know, car wash, we have everything around us, right? So there is no specific place that you're going to go and feel like it's a good place to meet women. Now, honestly speaking, you could go to Lowe's, you can go to Home Depot. Women are always checking for guys in there. But realistically, when you see yourself as the opportunity, that's not, that hasn't become a question. What didn't I guys did do you remember that story I told about um how I was in the park and I was running on the trail and this like fit white chick like blonde hair and shit she was coming one way I'm minding my business you know I'm getting my my running or my sprints in so she's coming this way she's like probably where the wall is right there I move out of her way she gets closer gets in my way and then I just kind of like sidestepped it because. Bro, my whole thing with women, I'm never focused on women, especially if I have something else going on in the moment. So now I'm working out. I'm not about to stop my workout. And here's the thing. She could have just said, hey, what's up? But you see, women do stuff like that when they find you attractive. They'll put themselves in your way. They'll try to create situations. So it don't matter where you're at, because like I said, you're the opportunity. You're the opportunity, bro. And you really have to believe that. You live stream too. This guy's a gem. I'm trying to do everything. Um, I figured I'd do live streams because, you know, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's pretty cheap. It's not really expensive. I try to make it affordable so everybody can get coaching, get advice about everything. Dating, finances, uh, how to build a YouTube channel, all types of stuff like that. But I'm noticing that, you know, a lot of people message me and you can tell like they don't have the funds for the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I figured the lives are a good way for you to come in here. I answer questions for free. I only say send a super chat just in case, you know, so it has the big color above it. So I won't go over it when the, uh, the questions come in. A virgin at 22. Tell me where to start, please. Okay. Number one thing you have to get out of your head is being a virgin and like, thinking that that affects your game or whatever. No, you can still learn how to talk to women. You can still go outside, approach women, deal with women on your own terms, whatever. You being a virgin has nothing to do with anything because a lot of chicks want to take the virginity from you. Okay. So you need to realize that. Stop looking at that as uh, maybe, I don't know how you see it, but I'm going to like envision that you see it as a negative. Stop thinking of it as a negative and think of it as a positive. Like, I'm out here, I got this virginity, who I'm trying to sell it to. You know, I'm selling it to the highest bidder. Don't give anything away to a woman for free. Nah, I'm a virgin. What, you know, what? And listen, nine times out of 10, dudes who are virgins, you're not gonna know what you're doing, but let me tell you this. If you look in the mirror and you think you're an attractive dude and chicks like tell you, like throughout your life, you know, like chicks see you as an attractive dude, you better sell that virginity. You better sell it. But if you're a dude who has like no experience with women, bro, this is what you got to remember. You have to talk to women in order for things to happen. All right. You can't be afraid of women because I'm imagining as a virgin, you're going to be, you know, kind of intimidated. But you got to really get over that first like hump and then you get to the next step, which is actually just shooting the shit with a woman. See, the reason why I'm good with women and good at talking to women is because I don't view it as anything special. Like a lot of the times, you know, in my, uh, I think that's one of my most popular videos, the power of ignoring a woman. You can see women mouth, like misfiring, malfunctioning, pretty women, especially because they'll be having a conversation with me and I'm just keeping it really plain with them. Like, yeah, that sounds good. All right. Well, you have a nice one. And they're just like, wait a minute. Why isn't he acting like, wait a minute, what's wrong? Because all these guys are like, <sighs> and he's just acting regular. I want him to act like them. 
bro, you have to just take a deep breath and talk to women. Women love that too about a dude when you're very just whatever, man. Like you're not that happy to see them, but it's not like you're upset at seeing them. It's just, it's just another day in the park. You know, it's not a big deal. What's up, bros? Is a lunch first date too much? Um, you know, it's all about what you want to do, but personally speaking, we could do that. But if it's going to be somewhere that's low cost and literally you have to plan it around your house because you never know, you could smash from there, but you want to plan it somewhere close to your house just in case like you're noticing like, oh shit, we're getting physical. She wants to touch me. She's getting close to me. Now you can try to close and like advance back to your house. Like, oh, actually I got a music collection and shit. Got a bottle of wine in my house. We want to get out of here. You can make things happen. But I would say plan it close to your house. Don't spend a bunch of money, man. Keep that date cheap. But here's the thing. Lunch? No. Coffee, ice cream, the park, hike trail, stuff like that, man. Don't try to take women out on dates as soon as um, you get the number and stuff like that. I remember when my game was weak, I used to do that. I used to be like, oh, well, you know, I, instead of approaching a chick now, how I do like, God damn, you're sexy. I figured I'd come over here, you know, introduce myself. What's your name? My name's Justin. Instead of that, I'm like, hey, I noticed you from uh, over there and I just figured I'd come over here and say, what's up? How's your day going? Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Skip to, hey. You think I could take you out sometime? You see what I'm saying? You think I could take you out sometime? What, bro? I'm the opportunity. You see how I went from that to how I am now? What? Because I didn't believe I was the opportunity back then. I believed like, oh, shit, she's about to give me an opportunity. Nah, that's not how things work. But what I'll say is, if that's what you genuinely want to do, go ahead. I'm not taking chicks out on a lunch date for the first date. Um, I believe that we could do something smaller than that but nine yo listen i've been spoiled i'm used to chicks coming to my house i'm just used to chicks coming straight to my house and then you know see that list that i put out and along with that video why women must earn a man's time and attention bro i'm used to chicks one of the things on the list you got to pay for that list you send a donation and you unlock the list but i'm gonna give you guys one one of the things on the list i think it's number three you see a lot of guys are gonna think oh you can't do that you're crazy i've been spoiled it's to the point where this is my standard, bro. A chick got to come to me three times. She has to drive to my area, come to me. I'm not driving to a chick. She has to do that minimum three times. And we don't do. And then another thing on the list. This is it. This is all I'm giving away. Out of those three times, we're not doing anything extravagant. We're not doing anything that throws off. I want to be in a relationship with you vibes. Nothing. Because that shows her interest level. If she's cool with that, she's cool with the bare minimum. And if she's cool with the bare minimum, she really likes me. There's no, I got to prove all this to her. And, oh, I want to be taken out on a date and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I'm looking for the high interest woman. See, when you look for a high interest woman, that's going to be the standard. See, that's what this video is all tying into. You know, develop a standard of how you deal with women. So my standard is so locked in that I know when a chick likes me like that. That's why when a chick moves the opposite way of my standard, I know instantly she doesn't like me like that and I don't take it to heart. I'm just like, okay, she's looking for a sucker. She's looking for a guy to do for her. She's looking for a guy that's willing to put her up on a pedestal. I'm not dealing with that type of woman and I don't care how good she looks. I don't care about, oh, she's a baddie and baddies expect you to, all right, well, that baddie could go with some other dude. I'm not doing that. You know who I am? I'm him. Why would I do that? Mm-hmm. Vet in silence. No need to outwardly explain to her. Exactly. When you're dealing with chicks, bro, you're collecting data. It's like you're getting the drop on chicks. That's why you can't be judgmental. See, a lot of dudes shoot themselves in the foot with all of these standards and stuff off rip telling her like, oh, what you don't want a woman to do and stuff. It's like, bro, are you trying to attract her or repel her? All you're doing is just building and collecting data on women. 
You want women to be comfortable talking around you because once they're comfortable talking around you, you understand women better. So you will quickly realize a chick does not have to go out on three dates with you to have sex with you. A chick does not need you to uh, do this whole song and dance of, I need to get to know you better. You would never know that if you're always pushing judgmental energy or, yo, I don't like for a girl to do this and do this and do that. She's like, okay, now I have to wear the mask for this guy. When she could have been telling you everything, because even if you don't like, you know, the things that a woman's into, going out to clubs, going out to bars, uh, having male friends or whatever, bro, just let them talk to you anyway, because you're getting the drop on how females operate. Once you get the drop on how they operate, game cannot be ran on you anymore. You have to accept the ugly truths about women, because once you do, Bruh, it's like unlocking a, it's like a cheat code. It's like when you tell a chick, when she's about to lie to you and you're like, you don't got to do that. I'm, I'm the coolest dude you're ever going to meet. So you might as well cut all the bullshit. And she's looking back like, well, what does he know? Because in order for him to know stuff, he has to be good with women. And then women just start blabbing. So it's better off that you're better off just letting a woman be who she really is. See, this is the problem. This is why, damn, it's cold in here. This is why guys have problems in their dating life. You're expecting women to be something that they can never be. Off rip. You know, this is the thing too with guys with choosing signals. And I'm only going to wait for choosing signals. And I'm only going to blah, blah, blah. Bro, you still have to go make the approach. So you want her to give you the choosing signals, come up to you, tell you that you're handsome and how bad she wants you. And you so you want her to plan the date? You want her to plan the date? Because that's the only reason you worried about, you know, choosing signals and she's got to give me a signal more than three times for me to go over there and walk up to her. Why? You're a man. You control the dynamic. You control the situation. You know what I mean? See, even in the approach, take your phone out and put my number in it. You're telling her what to do. All right, hold on. Let me answer these questions. My fault, guys. It's just that I really love explaining this stuff. Hey man, I don't really have an issue with approaching or attracting attractive women. I just don't know where to go from there. Okay. I want everybody to listen up. I'm not saying, you know what? Before I even get into that, get the lights up. Because what I'm about to say is about to help you out. Get the lights up, please. OTK Pally. I appreciate the super chat, brother. Likes up. Likes up. 100 likes. 134 people in here. 71 likes. What are we doing? See, bro, how do I get over an ex-girlfriend? See, I'm answering stuff like this, providing value. Get the likes up. You could ask me anything that you want to ask me right now, and I'm going to respond to it, but I can't get the likes up. You see what I'm saying? It's value for value, man. Yo, it's crazy here. Eighteen more likes. Let's go. I'd be glad to answer that for you, Lil Trill. But, you know, dude's got to get the likes up. Nine more, eight more.
I got you, OTK Pally. I got you. Seven more likes, guys. I got you. One more like. All right, we got there. Okay. Hey, man, I don't really have an issue with approaching or attracting attractive women. I just don't know where to go from there. Okay, brother. So you understand that you have an imagination, right? You have an imagination and you paint pictures. See, when you know how to paint pictures with your words, you, get, you, you have a vision of where you want things to go, okay? So you don't know where to go from there. What is it exactly that you want to happen? Here's an even better question. Why should this chick go anywhere with you, meet up with you anywhere? Why? What is she going to experience? How are you going to make her feel? Do you know any of that? You already need to have that in your head. You're going to know where to go. Listen, there's another part. You're a man. You have to lead. So you need to know where to go. And this is the thing. Like, I have, a, I have a favorite place that I like to take chicks to, and I keep it the same way. Very low investment, low cost. Every chick, we go there. Because I already know where to go from getting the number, getting off of the FaceTime call planning something if it's not to come straight over i already have an alternative very low investment everything is already set up the same way how i say all right so the same way how i say my approach never changes i don't care if this chick's a baddie bro or if this chick is uh, some slim thick plain jane i don't care who it is I'm not switching anything up, but the only reason I got to have that and like develop that standard, that standard and strategy is because I'm used to doing the same thing over and over and over and over. It's like getting in the gym and putting in the reps, putting in the work. You do it over and over and over again. Chicken, broccoli, brown rice over and over and over again. So I'm good in the gym. I don't really have a problem with women. Do you understand? You have to work on it, perfect it. And you never change it up, no matter how pretty she is. You're going to know where to go next from the reps over and over again. So, you know, I say you shouldn't deal with resistance from women, okay? You should never deal with it. But let's say, um, you know, a chick is acting all nervous about coming to your house. All right, that's why we got the low investment, uh, low investment spot. You know, we could talk to each other for a little bit. You know, if, if, she, if that's what she... If she's insisting like, oh, blah, blah, blah. All right, come on, man, let's go. But we're going to make something happen regardless. And if you're boring to me, you're done here. I'm not talking to you ever again. You understand? Sometimes you do want to do something low investment. So you'll be like, you know, I see that this chick isn't worth my time anyway. You know, but even when the chicks are coming straight over, you're getting it popping. You're getting it popping. But then that's why you can't look at um, going out on dates as resulting in sex. You can't go out on dates and then think, okay, my end goal is sex. No, you'll go on a date or something low investment just to feel her out to see where she's at. Literally feel her out. Because nine times out of 10, you like if you're not compatible with a chick, it's just gonna be sex anyway. And realistically, when I'm dealing with chicks, I talk to them, we laugh, you know, like we goof around, you know? so. I can't do that if the chick is dry, she's outcome dependent, she's really looking for a boyfriend to do this, that, and the third. It's like, no, 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 no. So if we go on something low investment and I figure all that out, I'm just like, eh, charge it to the game, scrap it. And then, you know, just keep doing the whole numbers game. I honestly ignore women when they're around when they're around and interested, they'll laugh amongst themselves, stare, but get close at the gym, for example. I'm just focused on building me right now. No offense to them. 
Yeah, bro, there's nothing wrong with, um, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, not focusing on, women, like, not even talking to women. If you've got a plan, and I'm going to be very honest right now, if you've got a plan of where you see yourself in the oncoming months or the next year or two, you've got a business plan. You've really got things to do, like goals to reach. Okay, yeah, women aren't going to do anything for that. They're not going to be conducive for you elevating as a man. This is exactly why I said, and I made that video the other day. Your success with women doesn't define who you are as a man. It doesn't. You're going to be good with women or you're not. It's cool. One, get your money up. Yeah, you're funny. But, um, yo, just really, like, don't think that, you know, because, you know, I'm not focusing on women, there's something wrong. I like the attitude that you have about, you know, I just ignore them. They're not special to me. They're not, they're nothing different. It's just a woman. See, when you think like that, a lot of this stuff isn't going to be on your mind, like the fear of rejection, having FOMO, fear of missing out. Fear of missing out on what? A woman? They're everywhere. That's how this whole thing was like, oh, she's a baddie. Oh, I fumbled the baddie, bro. How you fumble a baddie? Because you could just go talk to another one. You act like uh, baddies are, what were those Pokemon that you, you couldn't find like that? Like some mystical Pokemon or whatever that you would only see once every here and like every here and there and once in a blue moon. Baddies are everywhere. What is a baddie? Throw in the water, bro. Throw in the water. Take her out. She ain't a baddie no more. So I mean like every woman does the same thing. They apply things to their face. Uh, like they wear makeup. They uh, The baddie outfits. The baddie outfits. Go on, go, go on Google right now and type in baddie outfit and you're gonna see a bunch of pictures of the same bitches looking the same and then like they'll be like different ethnicities but they're all the same they're everywhere and pro tip if a chick ever calls herself a baddie in your presence i just don't deal with her bro i, I wouldn't deal with her if a chick got the i was about to say the balls if a chick has the nerve to say i'm a baddie and i deserve this or whatever nah bro we're done here we're done here because you see me as a sucker if you think you're going to say that in front of me. When they say I don't do hookups, are they for real? <clears throat> Bruh, this is another thing. Women are women. I don't care if you meet her at 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's think logically as men, okay? Because as men, we're very logical. Let me get through to you. So if a chick hooked up with dudes in college, 20, 21, 22, and let's say she takes a break from hooking up with dudes randomly. You meet her at 25 and she tells you, well, I don't do random hookups. I don't come over to guy's house on the first date. That's not me. I don't do that. Now, see, you would think I don't know her. I don't. You can't even meet this chick at 30 years old. I don't care. Whatever. And you think, oh, damn. Well, I got to jump out the window now. I really got to splurge. I really got to show this this chick that I'm the one or I'm special or whatever. So does that change the fact that she used to hook up with dudes? You mean to tell me this chick, right? Out of all the opportunities that she gets with dudes, she's never hooked up with one dude before. Randomly, at a bar, at an event, at, at, at her cousin's wedding, whatever. You mean to tell me this chick has never hooked up with somebody the first time she met them? Answer, please. Whenever women say things, add with you at the end of it, okay? Just add with you. Or in the front of it. Well, in my experience, guys like you. I don't do this with guys like you. Because that's all bullshit, bro. Don't believe that. You know, you got to see women in the harshest forms to understand that everything they say is lies. I remember this one time, right? You know, I went out to this bar. It was a bar in my town. I see some chick I went to high school with. She was a bartender in the bar, right? So we're outside. 
So we go outside and she's on FaceTime with her boyfriend. He's like, babe, I'm about to go to sleep, blah, 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 blah. She's like, okay, babe, okay. And gives him a little kiss through the phone. Do you know she was hooking up with a guy at the bar? I'm like watching her. Bruh, I remember when she hung up the phone because she hooked up with that guy before and after. But I saw her hook up with him. So I'm sitting next to her on the bench outside and she hangs up and she goes, don't judge me. And I was like, what? She was like, I really like my boyfriend, but I'm not passing this dude up. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because, oh yeah, I remember that night. The chick who's the bartender, I was hooking up with her sister. So we, we left with that same dude that she was hooking up with. We got in his car and it was me, it was me, him, her and her sister. And we went to a hotel room and she, I don't think she smashed that guy, but she was doing something because they went in the bathroom. She was doing something. But remember on FaceTime, oh yeah, babe, and blah, 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 and yeah, good night, and kissing them through the phone. You got to see women like that in 4K. Like, you got to see it happening right in front of you to understand all the stuff they be kicking is bullshit. Bullshit. They just don't like you like that. When a woman is telling you, all right, so if you're, you're trying to advance with a woman and she's not trying to do what you want to do, she don't like you like that. Guys, that story that I tell, um... I think I regurgitated it for like three videos. The one where we went somewhere, you know, then when I'm dropping her back, cause we took my car, when I'm dropping her back for her to get in her car, she moves her face from me. Like I give her a hug, I go for her, I'm like, I'm out, I'm out. And I go to kiss her, she moves her face. Instantly I know she didn't like me. Instantly I know she didn't like me. You mean to tell me you've never kissed a dude on the first link? Stop it. You don't like me, and that's okay. It's nothing to take personal, but if I, were, if I were to be sitting over here like, oh, well, women don't kiss on the first date. You know, women need more time to build rapport with you. That's not acceptable behavior, preposterous. I'll be sitting over there confused as opposed to charge, you're charged to the game. I'm not dealing with that. Listen, there's some game for you dudes. So you know like in um, relationships, marriages, why the chick will be like, yo, we're not having sex tonight. My stomach hurts. Or we're not having sex because of this and blah, 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 blah. Because you waited in the beginning. You were like putting up with resistance. So that's why you'll get into a relationship with a chick and she's giving you resistance. She's, she's talking back to you and stuff like that. When realistically in the beginning, at the first sign of it, you should have been like, we're done here. You know what? You're not reading the lines from the script how I need you to. So I'm just going to find a new actress. You're done here. And just keep it pushing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you guys. Hold on. I'm trying to get through these. Thanks for helping all men of all ages, bro. I'm 48 and like what you're saying. That's what I'm here for, brother. Like, I really want dudes to understand the power that you have as a man and how you squander your gift when you just bow down, bro. When you have that, that weak mentality, we got to elevate. We got to become better. If every day we progress and we're just a little bit better than the day before, we're winning. We're winners. And in this life, there's going to be two types of people. going to be winners there's going to be losers. What side of the fence do you want to be on? When the smoke clears, bro, and it's all said and done, where do you want to be at, bro? Really think about it. Where do you, who do you want to be? Because a winner has a winner's mentality. That's why I never, you know, I'm very direct. Even on my one-on-one -on -one calls, I'm very, very direct. It's only because, and I can see how sometimes people are like, whoa, bro, like, why are you, I'm not coming at you. I want what's best for you. I want what's best for you because I wasn't always a winner. When I started keeping it real, I transitioned from loser to winner. So that just goes to show you within and of itself, we all have it inside of us, bro. That him shit that I be spitting, you are him and they are them. I really mean every ounce of what I'm saying. It's inside of all men. But you have to keep it real with yourself. So that's why I do what I do this for. 
You know, I don't want to say it too. I don't just do this for money. That comment is what I do it for. Those type of comments is exactly what I do it for. I love seeing those comments. Ever since I started listening to your videos, bro, I bossed up mentally. I really have a healthier mindset. I'm making things happen in my life now. Those comments mean more than the money, bro. Hold on, I've I seen a funny comment. <laughs> Let's go. I just dodged a bullet with a radical feminist. I'm glad I didn't hit. I feel like she would falsely claim grape. Listen, all of that mumbo jumbo to me is nothing. Okay, let's talk about this chick Carly, okay? So, you know, we met on a dating app. Came straight to the crib, right? We smashed. First meetup. But I was noticing in there, she was doing these little, um, these little shit tests and saying things and come to find out she was like, well, yeah, I believe in feminism and blah, blah. I'm strong and I'm independent. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't even let it move me. This is the part I'm talking about. The last handsome men's game video I dropped. Why being nonchalant makes you more attractive to women. I was just like, whatever, bro. I done smashed and, um, you know, we cooling. And eventually she left. And every time we met up after that, we kept smashing. Okay, now I don't, rem I don't know if it was the second or third time we were chilling. And I told her, you know that attitude isn't going to get you anywhere, right? And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, bro. I'm like, yo, that attitude's not going to get you anywhere. It's really not. Really think about it. If you're even trying to attract and lock down a man, a man's man, you're not dealing with that stuff. And you make yourself look goofy because you need men. So if you look around, <laughs> if you look around, right, who builds the roads? Who handles your sewage? Who takes out the trash? If you get a nail in your tire, who's going to fix it? Like, where, where are you taking it to get it fixed? Even if you call AAA, who's coming on the AAA truck? You need men. That strong and independent stuff sounds goofy. Now, I remember, I think we, we kept dealing with each other. So, like, I think it was, like, three weeks, two weeks after that, we were watching something. And then she told me, like, yo, I just want to tell you, like, I apologize. And I'm like, for what? She's like, you know, that whole mindset that I have, you were right. It doesn't get you anywhere. But I, I found it very funny that it didn't move you. I'm just like, because, bro, I already know that you guys with this strong and independent stuff, it's just, it's not even real. It's not even real because you got to submit to somebody. So if you won't submit to a man, you submit to your job. So you strong and you independent, I guess. I mean, whatever. But see, a lot of the things women say you can't take seriously anyway. It doesn't affect you. That's also going to improve your dating life. When you understand that, what a, when you understand that damn near 80%, 90% of things that women say are bullshit, you don't get moved by it. You're just like, yeah, 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 you're trying to do what I'm trying to do or not. Oh, you're not? Get out of here. That's it. We got a hater in the chat, ooh. You know, if you don't got haters, or people that dislike you, you can't be that guy. You just can't. I'm gonna throw that out there for anybody who's like, um, well, why does things have to be this way? And this person doesn't like me and blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, you're probably not him because when you're him, it has to happen. All right, all right. What are your beard millimeters, bro? Uh, three. Just three all the time. Three, perfect. You know, sometimes I let it go to like four, but three. This is three right now. It's perfect. Boom, boom. What's your opinion on women 
who become bitter around you when you don't pay them any attention? Um, you can't really care, man. Like, I remember this one time, this chick, you know, we were talking. And, um, yeah, we were talking the first time I gave her a compliment on her hair. See, I'm telling you, when you give women co certain compliments, it really does brighten up their day. Because the things that they put the most effort into, most guys don't really pay attention to. It's like, oh, her ass or her titties and stuff like that. So I'm like, damn, you did something new with your hair. It looks good. She was like, really? Like, yeah, I actually did. Like, Thank you so much. And I'm like, all right. So she leaves, right? So she comes back around. See, it's like a drug for them. It's like crack to them. Almost more valuable than money in some instances, right? She comes back around the second day to get more attention. So I stopped and I talked to her for like, I think it was like a 30 second conversation. She walks off. Now the next day, I'm dealing with someone else in a conversation. She walks up, you know, skipping up, all happy, trying to get a hit, right? So I'm like, oh, what's up? What you need? Oh, here you go. And then I go right back to the conversation that I'm having with this dude, right? And she goes, mm, and just storms off and storms away. And I'm just like, that's like stuff like that. Bruh, they feed off of it. But all you really do is just take it with like, you take it with a smile like, damn, bro, she feeding for my attention that bad. I must be him. Like, think about it. For a chick to go mm, and, and walk away, bro, that's not normal, bro. That's not normal. Most chicks would just be like, oh, whatever, then, and just walk away. But really, she wanted the attention that bad. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Alpha General salute. God bless. What's up, my boy? Gregory Carter said, wherever you go, you will meet them. Always be ready. Facts. Facts. You always got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's why the mouthpiece is important. What you're going to say should never change. You know, the first, let's say, so your house is a spot where you want chicks to come back to smash. But let's say you want to feel her out. Like I said, a low investment place. I've got 10. That's also a bonus list. But I have one that I like in particular. Every chick, we're going there. If it's not my house, it's there. What I'm going to say, it's the same way all across the board. You understand? FaceTime. I love to use FaceTime. I love to use voice notes. I never, break, I never go against that to start texting and doing all this stuff. Everything is set up the same way because I'm always ready so I don't have to get ready. See, this is why dudes will be like, Yo, well, how can I avoid running out of things to say when I'm talking to women? How could you run out of things to say? How? Really think about it. <laughs> I got haters. Okay, let's, let's answer that. I literally just gave real life examples of me talking to chicks in the outside world, right? So what's, what's the argument there? When you're him, you don't have to meet chicks off of a dating app. Really use that logic. So dating apps are, what are they here for? They're here to not be used, right? Ta, what, Taistanisha, Ashisha, Evans. We're just gonna ignore you, but I just wanna throw that out there. Haters make no sense. Haters will literally make no sense with what they're saying. They just want a hit of attention. So there you go. There's your hit of attention because if I wasn't important and I wasn't him, you wouldn't be here in the first place. There's a button that stops YouTube from recommending my channel to you. You can kindly unsubscribe. Nobody wants you here. Like, you get what I mean? It just makes no sense. But all it signals off to me is that I'm popping. The same way how I just answered that question about how do you react when a chick is bitter that she can't get attention from you. It's a good thing. It shows that you're popping. It just shows that you that dude. Hold on, water break. Adam, I got you.
I had a high interest woman who I didn't really reciprocate to mainly because I didn't want to wife her up. Who said you had to wife her up? It's all about what you want to do. If she was high interest, here's the thing about when a chick is high interest. She wants to do whatever you want to do. She'll do anything you want to do. So let's say all you want to do is smash. She'll be cool with just smashing. She'll literally be cool with just smashing. Yeah, she might nag a little bit after a while. Like, you know, I really want, I really want to be with you like that, blah, blah, blah. And you tell her, you're good where you're at. Keep earning your position and everything will be cool. And then you keep smashing. When a woman is high interest with you, bro, the things that dudes view as mistakes, well, you can't say that to her. You can't act that way with her. You can't do this, that, and the third with her. Yes, you can. When she's high interest, bro, you can make everything that you would deem as a mistake. You can do it over and over and over and over again. She's just happy to be in your presence, bro. You don't have to wife a chick up. You do what you want to do. So a good question. Yeah, because they have no game. That's why they try to position themselves. Yep, facts. Angel G was good. Hey, Justin, lost my job in my crib due to my health. Had to move back in with my mom at 31 feel like shit, but I got my meds. How do I bounce back? It's all about stacking your paper and not really seeing it as a negative. You have to think about it like, okay, I'm about to get a leg up. I'm about to develop a nest egg. I'm about to build up some money right now. You know what I mean? You're going to get another job. That's a given as a man. You have to work or you don't eat. So once you get the job, just use this situation you're in. Look, lock in, bro. Don't spend money like that. Don't be out there trying to live a life that you can't live. You can't afford to live right now. You need to stack your money, bro. All the food that you eat, keep it cheap. Keep it to a minimum. Really live like a minimalist. Get back on the horse, bro. You're going to lose your job. Well, that's a good one. You're going to lose your job. You know, you're going to not have the best living arrangement. But these are just things we have to go through. It's nothing to really feel bad about, bro. Things happen to people. Now, this is what's going to define who you are as a man. It's not really like, how do I bounce back? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Because I could sit here and tell you everything like, you know, uh, well, you need to do this. You need to get two jobs. You need to uh, pick up more hours. You need to do this and do that. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Listen, the reason why I'm even coming direct like this, bro, I was homeless before, bro. Still going to college full time, still holding down a job. I was homeless, bro. You would never know it. God puts us in. Realistically, I don't even want to um, say God, right? I want to say it like this. We put ourselves in situations that we have to get out of. And it's up to us. That's why I'm like holding a mirror up to you. What are you going to do about it, bro? What are you going to do? You really got to dig deep, bro. Use that shit and make it drive you. I look back. Yo, it's crazy, right? Now that I live a life of, you know, being the dude that I want to be, leading my life the way I want to lead it, I look back at the hard times. I look back at the failures. I look back at the mistakes. And I'm like, damn, I'm happy I went through that. I'm happy I went through all of that. I want you to feel that, like, feel that energy that's, that's coming off of me, bro. I went through so much stuff, I thought I was going to break. I used to think that I was a loser, bro. I didn't like myself. 
I didn't like the position I was in. I didn't like the mentality I had. I didn't like anything like that. How does a guy like that become a guy like this? Because I asked myself, what are you going to do about it? And then feed the pavement. So my best advice to you is get on your grind. You can't be playing around out here. Things are going to happen to you, bro. But you really got to start taking your life seriously. So how do you bounce back? Well, how do you see yourself? You somebody who plays games or are you somebody that makes things happen? If you view yourself as somebody who makes things happen, there's your answer right there. She eventually went mental, blocked me, changed me for another dude, or at least tried to. And now, a few weeks later, she unblocked me. This isn't the first time. I don't know what situation you're speaking on, but um, let it go, bro. Let it go. She don't even deserve for you to even be writing that in the comment section. She doesn't even deserve an ounce of your energy. There's nothing wrong with going monk mode. No, there's nothing wrong with going monk mode, but don't be surprised when you hop out of monk mode, you're gonna be like, well, what's going on? I gotta rewire everything. I gotta reconfigure, like I've re I gotta restart my game. I don't know, like, I, I don't know what to say to a chick. When you go to monk mode and you come out of monk mode, let me tell you one thing that will hurt you. The first chick that gives you positive attention, you're gonna run with it. You're going to run with it because you're not used to dating women on a consistent basis. You're not used to interacting with women like that. You're used to being on your purpose. You're going to be, you know, used to just uh, not talking to women, not even really interacting with people like that. Bro, when you're monk mode, I don't know if a lot of people understand, but monk mode means you are locked in. You are dialed in. You do not have time to really chill with anybody. You're focused on getting something done. Now, see, if a lot of dudes were really monk mode, you know, you would still be able to interact with people. You'll still be able to be good with women. You just wouldn't be having sex like that. You would still be focused on the goal. But I'm telling you, like, a lot of people that use this, like, monk mode and semen retention and no fap and all of this, blah, 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 blah. Bro, what's your mission? What's your purpose, bro? You say that you're on monk mode. You say that you're on no fap. But for what? What's the goal? What's the mission here? It, like... Explain that. If you could explain that, everything would make sense. There's nothing wrong with going monk mode. But for what? For what? Are you trying to get your body into the best shape you can? I can see why dudes would practice semen retention. You know, like when fighters are about to have a fight and their coaches are like, you know, don't have sex or whatever. Like build your energy up for the fight. I get it. If you're trying to like boost your testosterone, like really like boost that shit. I get it. You know what I mean? But if it's like you ain't getting girls anyway, I mean, or you're trying to stop watching corn. I don't want YouTube to, you know, do anything weird. But if you're if you can't stop watching corn, then you're just coping because you can't get a woman anyway. So, you know what I mean? Like, guys, we got to start keeping it real. I'm not here to try to make dudes feel bad about themselves. I'm trying to put the mirror up to you, let you see who you are. And if you like what you see, cool. If you don't like what you see. Don't run to these channels and don't use this, these words to cope with the situation. Just do something about it. But no, there's nothing wrong with going monk mode. If it's for a reason, you, like you're trying to get to a goal. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to tell you how to stop smoking weed in a minute. Somebody says she lying, bro. I had a one night stand before, see? Women got too many options. I'd probably be the same. 
be the same in what regards? Women have a lot of options to males. They don't have a lot of options with men. I want to make that completely clear. Women have a lot of options of males. So if he's high status and he's got money and he's willing to spend it on her and do all of this, he's a male. She will use the male. Okay? Women have options, but they're not always men. They're not always dudes that are about to sit here, make them earn their time and attention. Actually teach a chick how to treat a man. No, it's, well, where do you want to go, babe? And how can I make your day better today, babe? And how do women treat those dudes at the end of the day? Think about it. That's funny, man. Women get too many options. I'd probably be the same. That's funny. Trevon. Yo, Jay started hitting the dating scene after a year and a half. Met up with this 36-year-old girl after the first date. I saw your boyfriend energy in older women video and saw what I did wrong. After corrections, it was demon time. See what I'm saying, man? Everything I say, man, it's like some dudes don't want to believe it. Some dudes don't want to get it. But I'm only trying to get, I'm only trying to help you and make your mindset stronger and actually understand. See, once you identified with the boyfriend energy, you knew that she didn't deserve all that. And then how older women act, right? Like that video that you're talking about, you instantly put the formula together. See, everything clicked. And then you started making things happen. And I appreciate that $10 super chat, brother. Ferrari Spears, Harry, stop talking about this chick. Too, like, bro, it's like, I've seen five comments in a row. This chick ain't even special, bro. Bro, how to get over a breakup today is day 14, no contact. I call her in Walmart parking lot with the coworker. Shit, it's tough to get over. You could have had a kid with her. You could have you could have uh, gotten to something more serious with her. Be grateful that women show you who they are. Be grateful that women show you who they are sooner than later. So you call her in a, a car with a coworker. That sucks, bro. It sucks. But are you going to sit here and really like So wait a minute. So you went no contact why do you care? Why do you care? You call because look, this is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this all make sense to you. So you went no contact on her. She should be freaking out on why you went no contact. Bro, I got a redemption story for you. I got a redemption story. I don't wanna bring it up now, but I know a chick who is the modern day baddie and she tried to run game on a dude. And now she's all over the place. Well, why isn't he talking to me? Why isn't he? Because that dude finally realized his worth and said, I'm not dealing with this no more. And check this out of her own mouth. He's more attractive than my ex. He's willing to do more things than my ex. He went no contact. Now she's all over the place. Well, why isn't he answering him? Why? <laughs> That's how, that's the point of no contact, bro. And at the same time, you don't care if they come back or not. So if you're executing no contact, why it hurt that you saw her in the car with a dude? Why? You got to be ready for this stuff to happen. You got to stop holding women like to higher expectations. So like, this is why I say you always have to make a woman invest in the situation over time. Keep telling her to do things. You should be looking for signs of her doing things without you asking for it. Because when she invests a lot, she's not willing to lose you. This chick was in a car with a co-worker. Really think about it. Why would she do that? I'm going to answer you again. 
But I need more. I need more of the background story. Trey Moore. Was she investing in you like that? Was she big off of you like that? Let me know. And how long were you guys together for? Because this shit is tough to get over. I understand, brother. But do you understand that heartbreak and stuff like this when it happens? You know that this fuels you to become a man? Literally. You know how many people became successful off of heartbreak? So you either going to let it break you or it's going to make you, brother. I'm going to be real with you, bro. This is some honest shit that only a real homie or your brother's going to tell you. A heartbreak, yeah, it sucks, bro. That shit hurts. Unforgivable. But what are you going to do about it, bro? Because you know when women cheat on you, it's because they think the person that they're cheating on you with is better than you in some regard. Exactly. Exactly. We're gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that comment. I wanna I wanna touch on that comment. But listen, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You know, when you become successful, see the women that they go and cheat on you with a dude, and then they see that dude as being better than you in some regard, might be more attractive to her than you, he might have more money than you, whatever. She goes and cheats with him, and let's say years later. You become successful. You don't think that stings like, damn, I fucked up. I missed out on a good thing. I really missed out on a good thing. I played this dude. I played with him. I thought he was a sucker, a nobody. He was going nowhere. Fuck. It ends up, it turns out that I played myself. I overvalued myself and I undervalued that good dude that I had by my side. You see how that works, but you can't let that stop you, bro. It's going to happen. But day 14, and see, you know, when dudes are executing no contact, it's to really get her to come back. And that's not what it's for. They're using it wrong. I see a lot of these other coaches on YouTube. They tell you guys, go no contact to attract her back to you. Go no contact to start making her act right. But you see, when you view yourself as the opportunity... If she doesn't want to partake in the opportunity any longer, the door is open. Bye. I'm not losing an ounce of sleep over this, but I do understand that I'm in a position where I had to learn this stuff to get to where I'm at. I understand that you don't understand and that's why you're asking the question, but I'm literally letting you know, this is why I am the way I am, bro. Because you're going to lose so much time thinking about that stuff. Bro, it don't even matter. And nine times out of ten, the dude that she was cheating on you with don't even want her like that. Don't even. My advice to chicks all the time, if you want to cheat, you better hope that you go stay with him. You better hope that he's going to take care of you. You better hope that shit, he's going to do everything that I was willing to do or not willing to do. Just make sure it's worth it, bro. That's the mentality I have. I've been frustrated as F, man. I'm 25 and just learning how to approach women. Why are you frustrated, bro? They're not special. They're not special, bro. And all you got to do is learn, you know, have a strategy to get to what you want, like where you want things to go with women. And then everything becomes simple, bro. It's nothing to be frustrated about. Okay, okay, I found it. How often you work out to keep your body set up for success? You look like you're in good shape, but don't use it as the focus of your videos. I love the fact that you said that. And honestly, I was just working out. You know, I did like 13K steps. Then um, I did a little bit of cardio. I did some pull-ups. And I hit some weights for a little bit. But um, yeah, man, to keep my body in shape, I work out maybe once. I, I used to do twice a day. 
Now it's more so once a day, five days. Um, and yeah, bro, like the whole point of, um, what did it say? You look like you're in good shape, but you don't use it as the focus of your videos. Yeah, because and even if you pay attention in um, my playlist, Body Game, it's got like 11 videos. I could do more on it, but it's like, bro, you're in shape. It is what it is. You know, I get on, um, I remember this one time, me and, me and this chick were in the car, and this dude sends me a DM. And then it's like him flexing in the mirror. He's like, with his shirt off. And he's like, bro, what do you think, man? And I'm like, why aren't you sending this to a girl? Like, what do you mean? It would be different if like you were asking for weight loss tips or you're showing me like weight loss progression. But at this point, you're just trying to show off your body to another dude. That's not what I'm ever trying to do for you. Like, I'm never trying to do that. I'm just a regular dude. And honestly speaking, this, I want you guys to feel like I'm your homie, bro. I'm not trying to one up anybody. I'm not trying to shame anybody. I'm not trying to flex up on anybody. I'm not trying to any of that. So, you know, I, I really appreciate that you said that because like, yeah, I would never make that the main focus. Yes, it's important to have a good body, but to be in every camera trying to show off your muscles, like it's something special. It's nothing special to have muscles, bro. It's special to have muscles up here. Justin just hooked up with a pog this weekend. Good looks on the insight. Forward advice. Straightforward advice. Thank you, brother. See? I celebrate. I celebrate my boys, man. We all got to win, bro. And we all have to acknowledge you know, being direct. That's why, like he said, I give straightforward advice. So then you take that advice and then you are straightforward with women about what you want. Now, look, success story. That independent woman ish, that's all cap facts, facts. Women know it. Women know it. It's just that here's the thing. You know, when I said, um, there's a lot of males out here. There are a lot of males out here because if you think about it, a lot of women out earn men too, in some regards. So if that's the case, and I'm not saying money is everything. If that's the case, that's why they feel how they feel. I'm strong. I'm independent. I don't need no man. Yeah, because they can go get a boss. They can go submit to a job. So realistically, they don't need a man, but they do need a man. And let me give you a tip, right? When you hear a woman say, I'm strong and I'm independent and I don't need no man, there's some sort of trauma there. You don't even want to deal with her anyway. But a real man, like you can get a, you can get around that shit. But I'm saying, just know there, there's some sort of trauma there. No woman in her right mind, right, is going to ever spew that bullshit that has respect for men. Really respect the man. You understand, you ain't no strong and no independent. That shit is garbage. What if a girl who's in a relationship matches with you on a dating app? Is she looking to hook up? Oh, you're not him because you're on a dating app. Oh, I don't know. Um, but listen, bro, leave it alone. Leave it alone. You're asking a question that you already know the answer to. Realistically, leave it alone, bro. Because look, I mean, do whatever you want. But most dudes are beta males. So you don't want to run the risk of somebody doing something to you over some silly chick, bro. Just... Let it go. Damn, who was losing track of where I was at? Can't have thousands of followers without a few detractors. That's a fact. If you can't take 100%, say about 
say what about your mom, same thing. Yo, low trill, re restructure that question so I can understand it better because I I want to answer that, but I don't I don't really understand it. If you're him, she'll let you in. I mean, it's funny, but you're gonna still get rejected. You know what I mean? Like even if you're him, you still get rejected and stuff like that. It's cool. It's, it comes with the territory. Okay, now where was we at? What's your philosophy and strategy on spinning plates? Number one, I don't call it spinning plates. It's called a rotation. What is this? I, didn't I say that before? When I hear that word spinning plates, I picture somebody with two like, like I don't know, sticks and they're literally spinning plates. Like what does that mean, bro? Will y'all just stop? Talk how you want to talk. Tell me how to stop smoking. Send a super chat. Tell you how to stop smoking? Really? Because if you really wanted to stop smoking, uh, somebody from a screen wouldn't have to tell you how to stop smoking. Fuck out of here. Oh, how do you hook up with women at the workplace that are in a higher pay scale than you? What's the approach? Bruh, do your job. Do your job. Higher pay scale than you. What does that mean? What does that mean? So you can't just go up to her and tell her like you find her sexy. You want to get to know each other more intimately outside the job? Wouldn't a man just say that? What do you mean, what's the approach? Bro, you do what you want to do. Women are not special. How many times do I have to keep saying this, bro? That's a whole part of how your dating life is going to get better. When you view yourself as the opportunity. You are better than them by nature. There's no reason to fear them. There's no reason to think that you have to approach them differently. There's no reason to tiptoe around the pussy. There's no reason to eat around the tush and shit. Like Eminem said, you scared to lick pussy so you eat around the tush. There's no need for none of that, bro. And they love it when you're like that. Like, damn, he's bold. Damn, he's direct. Oh, I know I can't manipulate him. Oh. He thinks he's the prize. Can I get fired at work for asking a girl out? No. Just ask her out. And the time that it took you to put that question, you could have asked her out. You know these things take 10 seconds, right? So, hey, I was thinking, you know I think you're sexy, right? I know you think I'm sexy too, so you don't even got to play all those games. But listen, listen, listen. I got to get back to work. But you doing anything Friday night? Word. I think we should link. All right. We'll put my number in your phone and show you. I'll send you details later. All right. I'll get back to work. How long did that take? How long did that take? And, and that whole me too thing? If she's uncomfortable with you asking her out, okay, then you could, you really think that a chick, if, uh, all right, so then you view yourself as unattractive, bro. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm really done with the bullshit. I'm done with the bullshit with you dudes, bro. You can get fired if she finds you unattractive. Okay, so then don't approach. There you go. Don't approach. Be a little bitch. Don't approach. You shouldn't want to approach chicks at your job because that's the risk, right? So why, why are you asking the question? Why are so many dudes focused on approaching chicks at the job? And first off, you're asking a dude who's very, 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 very experienced with approaching women at the job. Never lost my job. Never. Even when the chick said, nah. Never lost my job. So what are you talking about? Okay, it's happened before. If it's happened to you, say that's your experience. Like I'm saying, I'm a dude 
who's dated, hooked up, had sex with multiple women at multiple different jobs. I never got fired because of it. In my experience, not what the red pill says, not what um, statistics say, in my experience. Thank you, bro. It's like you guys got to literally go out in life and get your own experiences. Shut your damn mouth and open up your ears, bro, and learn something. I'm trying to give a brother confidence. I'm trying to give a brother confidence to go and go after what he wants. You're over here lowering his confidence. Well, why would you do that, bro? You could lose your job, bro. Why? It's obvious that this young brother wants to make an approach. So go make it. So, Encourage him, bro. Because obviously that's what he wants to do. Help him out. Well, you lose your job, bro, because uh, if she thinks you're unattractive. So if you think that she's going to think you're unattractive, you see yourself as unattractive. If that's what you first go off rip with in your head, oh, she's going to think I'm unattractive. Well, then you're not him anyway. Remember what I said last live stream? Winner circle. I don't think enough people are getting it. Winner circle. Exactly. You're not going to lose anything just because you made an approach. Are you serious, bro? You're really serious? Yo, the thing with rejection too is, bro, and a lot of you dudes didn't even come up in urban areas where people are like, very like, get the hell out of here with the shit, right? Women reject you soft. The women don't even reject you like making a scene and stuff. They're just like, oh, no, no, thank you. Oh, I have a boyfriend. Oh, no. Or they just keep walking. You could try to approach a chick. Hey, excuse me. And she's just like, she just keeps act like you never said anything. What is up with y'all fearing that? Like, you're going to go to jail. You're going to lose your job. She's going to tell you that. Ew. All right. You guys think it's like this. You go, you go to approach a chick and she's like, oh, no, you're ugly. And your outfit makes you look like a dusty. I bet you don't live anywhere nice. And I bet you drive an old ass car. I bet you don't even got $100 in your pocket right now. What made you think that you could come over here and approach me, you dusty? That's how you guys think women are. Because where's the fear coming from, bruh? It's not even like that when they reject you. I'm about to start making fun of dudes, bro. I'm not even, yo, this, y'all gotta really understand how comical y'all sound. Do you want a wife? Um, uh, not really. I like who I am, bro. Like, I don't really need. I don't really need a wife. You know why, too? Because what's a wife? A long-term girlfriend, she just do everything that a wife is going to do anyway. So what's really, you know, that whole having a wife thing, that's for her. It's not even for you. It's for her. The big day is for her. The ring is for her. The proposal is for her. It's just for her, bro. I'm worried about what she can do for me. I'm not worried about what, what I can do for her. Okay, let me put it in this terms. Let me put it in these terms. If a chick works for me for over damn near 10 years, 20 years, maybe we could talk. No, bro. No, 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 no. For what? Hold on, where we at? And I'm still laughing. Dude said, tell me how to stop smoking weed. <laughs> uh... Okay, let's do it. Bro. Please tell me how to stop smoking weed. I, I'm going to the gym for like a day or two and then go back to smoking weed. I work a full-time job and I'm 25. I want to bulk up for the holiday next year in Ibiza. All right. So it seems like... So it seems like you have a goal to get to. So smoking weed means more to you than your goals. Didn't I explain it? YouTube meant so much to me. I said, you can literally feel my energy through the screen. 
My message is very strong. I never want anything to affect that message. So weed had to go. My YouTube uh, page has been up for seven months now. That means seven months, no weed. No weed. I want you to understand that. Really listen to that. You explain how you had a goal, but you can't stop smoking weed. It's been two days. So what's more important to you? So do you mean to tell me, man, if you had a, what's a bigger goal than just putting on some muscle? I'm trying to really think, what's a bigger goal? I want to get a new apartment. My living conditions suck. But I need to save up like $100 more for in the next couple of months to come for me to be able to have the money, right, for the, for the deposit. But I keep smoking weed? Why would I keep smoking weed when I need a better living arrangement? Weed can't wait, bro. Let's say, you never, let's say you're not going to quit for good. Weed can't wait. Your goals can't come before the weed? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Males, males, men. Do you think that a vice is going to stop a man from his goals, bro? Not at all. And you see, I'm being very direct with you because when you put logic into it, you're like, oh, shit, I look like a fool. You're putting weed before your goals. Really? How do you become more masculine? Like, how do you feel more masculine in a month? That's a good question. I'm trying to stay in order. I'll get to it, bro. This woman disrespected me to the max. I'm doing the no contact. Bro, no contact. That's the way, bro. No contact is life. If a chick gives you energy like she thinks she's better than you, no contact. Paul, you a real one, bro. It ain't how hard you fall, it's how you bounce back. That's a fact. And once you keep that mentality, you can never lose. Your advice on a chick that got upset for something petty. She went ghost, so I ghosted too. I smashed plenty of times as well, but don't understand why she got upset and ghosted for something petty. Women are women. And if you smashed a bunch of times, you shouldn't care. Because here's the thing. Well, I say it's a woman's character and what she can do for you. That's where her value lies. Most of you dudes think that her box and her looks are her value. So if that's true, you literally got all her value. So now, and you constantly, you constantly were getting it. You were smashing her, right? And she's gone. What's the big deal? Women are going to act that way off of something petty anyway. This redemption story that I have, you know, we're, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later because I, I have to, man. As much as I call bros out, when a dude finally turns around, knows his worth, and he's like, nah, I don't care if you're a baddie. I don't care. None of that shit. We're done here. I have to talk about it. I have to talk about it to let you dudes know that it's not the end all be all. So, you know, hold on. Let me not get off topic completely, though. So for you, you have to know that Women are going to get upset and act petty. But see, you always want to disappoint a woman because when you disappoint a woman, it shows you everything you need to know. She must. She didn't like you like that. She wasn't willing to go any type of distance. We smashing and dashing, you heard? Nah, but look, 
when you disappoint a woman or you might say something that isn't politically correct or something like that, her reaction to that shows you how much she likes you, bro. If she sticks around and she's just like, oh, I don't care. You know, I want to be all about this dude. She really likes you. Most guys think I can't disappoint her or she'll go away. I can't say something that she doesn't like or agree with because she'll go away because you're viewing her as a prize when realistically she's not special. If you're a masculine man, a masculine dude, do you understand the power that you possess, bro? Do you understand how rare you are, bro? Man, forget her, bro. Everybody who came in the uh, in the live late, who cares, bro? As long as you're here, this will be up so you can uh, go back to the beginning. All right, you know what? I want to talk about, I want to go back to the topic, bro. Because this is all going to link everything. How to improve your dating life and develop a standard of how you deal with women, right? What's up with all this caring? What's up with it? You know that now, nowadays, when a chick does something goofy or a chick, she's giving me pushback or giving me resistance, I forget about her because I need to make room. I need to make room for the chicks that like me like that. I'm not really worried about what happened with this chick last week. She can keep her box. Some other dude can have her box. It's not special. Oh, a chick told me no. She rejected me. She doesn't want to take me up on my opportunity. Oh, okay. We're done here. I forgot about her. Because I'm telling you, once you be, it's like this thing where you're never going to experience it until you become successful in some regard. Just become successful. And it's not about having the most money. Drop some weight. Unplug from social media. Drop weight. Then pop back out. Post the pics. Post pics. You can even have your shirt off, whatever. It's, it's going to be a flex. When you first get your body in shape, it's going to be a flex. After that, you're going to realize it's not the end of the, the end all be all. But just pop back out and post pictures. You're going to see women coming out of the woodwork. Oh, shit. You look better now. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And here's the thing, too. Women talk to other people, bro. So if you're in the same, like, social circle, somebody be like, yeah, whatchamacallit was talking about you and shit. She was talking about your, uh, your, your, some dudes use the word glow up or she was talking about your weight loss and saying like you look really good and stuff and, and you're gonna be like oh this bitch talking about me but then she tried to play with me then she tried to think i was less than then she tried to like act like i wasn't a big deal like that that starts with weight loss right so then you might get your status up you might become an influencer or something like that and she's looking and shit don't think women are not paying attention to you bro they might go off and, and do other endeavors and stuff but they're always watching bro they're always watching. Your dating life improves when you know that you're that dude, bro. And you don't care about any of this other nonsense because you know it comes along with the game. It comes along with the process and you have to trust the process. So I'm going to go through rejections. I think I'm handsome. There's going to be women and other people that don't think that I'm handsome. I like the way I dress. There's going to be other people that don't like the way I dress. There's other people that are not going to like my shoe selection. Do you understand that? These things are, you already brace yourself for them. So here we go again. A chick can cheat on you at any time. You can't be around her 24 seven, right? So when it happens, you already braced yourself for it. You don't hold women to a high, you don't hold women to high expectations. So that's why you you already understand off rip. They're going to be goofy. They're going to say a lot of things that they don't even know the meaning of. Like when a woman goes, you're a narcissist, spell it. Give me the meaning of it. Give me the definition. You're a misogynist. Spell it. Give me the definition. Give me the meaning of it. You just already know that's what comes with dealing with women. So when they try to, but, 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 you're like, uh-huh. Don't I keep telling you? My main chick, she always says this. You know what? Never mind. I'm like, what do you mean, never mind? She's like, I just already know. If whatever I'm about to say is not going to affect you, you're not going to care anyway. Do you see what I'm saying? 
That's the mindset you need to have. I'm not saying you can't care a little bit, but you should care about yourself more, bro. Like you can't care about something to the point where you're losing sleep over it or you're wondering why things are going wrong. That's gonna hinder your dating life and your experience. And then that's gonna be the standard. See the other part of the video? The standard that you develop. So if you're used to dealing with all this resistance, dealing with women flaking out on you, dealing with women saying whatever they want around you, you're really getting affected by it. That's your new standard for dealing with women. A woman could do whatever she wants to do. You could be on a date with a chick, she could be on her phone. You're not gonna check it. You're not gonna check it. You're just gonna be like, oh, okay, well, she'll, she'll get off the phone when she wants to. What? Bro, you know how many times I did this recently? Bro, what are you doing? She's like, what? Never happened again. That's all it was, something simple. Cause that's my standard. I don't care if you, you better hope you're, something happened to your dog. You better hope it's an emergency with your mother or something. Oh, that's scrolling social media. No, my standard is if we're here together, we're here together. Why are you on your phone? See what I'm saying? When you see chicks listening to what you say, you develop a standard. Your experience in the dating scene becomes better. You understand that you direct, teach, and lead women how to deal with you. Once again, developing a standard of how women should act around you or how you should deal with women. Let me get to that comment. I'm going off right now. But I got the energy right now. Listen. A lot of dudes don't believe that they can speak this way to a woman because the woman is your God. The woman is uh, all the way up here and you're all the way up here. That's why dudes are always, oh, she's a baddie, bro. Oh, she's a baddie, bro. I, I had to, bro. I had to take her out here. I had to do all this stuff. I had to go in a raw. I had to get her pregnant. I had to do all this stuff because she's a baddie. I'm nothing and she's a baddie. So that becomes your standard. She's a 10, she's a baddie, and you know, I'm nothing, I'm this average dude, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, I, I, th I think I'm attractive, but I have to do all this extra stuff to appeal to her. Really? Really? Because you know that women are already insecure about themselves, why do you think women get mad? They start like malfunctioning when you don't pay them attention like that. So this baddie over here, this is why women auto reject, bro. You ever be out in public and you're suited up or you got a good outfit on, your haircut is fresh, right? You can see your body built through the through shirt and you're cold, like your posture is cold. And you're just walking through the spot and a chick looks you up and down and she gives you a look like, fuck out of here and she's a baddie because she sees you and she understands she sees the confidence she feels the energy oh he's better than me he's better than me if you've never experienced that you're not going to understand what the hell i'm talking about but it's it's a it's a common thing that happens when you're very attractive and women get mad because they can't fuck with you and when you walk through the spot and you're not really like like these dudes with these baddies, let her walk past. You let her walk past and not say anything to her, but yet be like, damn, bro, yo, yo, bro, yo, you saw that, bro? But it's always the guy who's just like, cold, comes through the spot. She's like, man, fuck you, bro. Like, facts. But I really, I really want you dudes to understand that, man. Your dating life is going to improve once you stop putting high expectations on yourself, being outcome, de um, outcome dependent, you know, not having an abundance mindset, and once you're putting high expectations on chicks, bro, let's be real, man. Let's be real. I need you dudes to understand this, right? Women are not gonna be perfect. You literally gotta teach her how to treat you in a situation. See, most dudes are like, 
well, she's got to be a 10. She's got to be a baddie. She's got to do this. She's got to be this. On top of that, she's got to be a goody two shoes. She can't dress like a hoe. She can't be on social media like that. I don't want her having male friends. I don't want her going out to drink. I don't want her doing this. I don't want her doing, bruh, it's never good enough for y'all. It's never good enough for y'all. See how that, the high expectations? You got to chill down. We're not worried about the dudes, though. Forget about the dudes. So you have to just calm down and understand that women are women, bro. The best way to get better with women is to just let them be goofy, bro. Let them be goofy. You sit back and you observe. You observe. Does this chick deserve to be in my presence? Do I like what I'm hearing right now? Does she really? Okay. Now we can progress forward. But see, dudes sleep with women and they get more emotionally invested than women. So even if you do get with one woman, right? And then you guys are smashing, right? You're seeing things from a different lens because you're in your emotions not understanding that this chick's not doing anything but smashing you. That will also hinder your dating experience. A chick has to do more than just smash, bro. I don't get it. Like, and when you're fiending for sex, it's not a good look either. That's going to hinder that experience in your dating life too, bro. Don't make everything about sex. Make everything, you know what you're going to fall in love with when you fall in love with the game, when you fall in love with, uh, you know, the experiences and actually having a standard of how you deal with women. You're going to understand, you're going to fall in love with, damn, she's, she's doing what I'm telling her to do. That's right. You better do what I'm telling you to do or you're cut. And you better know that shit. She's like, oh, do we need anything? Oh, I'm going to shop, right? Can, can I bring you anything? Can I, can I come to your job and bring you um, uh, a Starbucks drink or this, that, and that? Oh, yeah, come through, come through. When she's doing things without you having to ask for it. That's the real beauty and stuff, bro. Not just smashing a chick. Because you can go out and smash any chick, bro. Not any chick. You know, most dudes... Even if you have limited options, you could go out and smash, bro. It takes minimal effort. Minimal effort to go smash a chick. Will they be the most attractive chick? No. But you could go out and smash a chick. So why? And pussy don't have a face, right? So why is that really the main focus? Like, it's never what can she do? You're going to fall in love with that. What chicks are willing to do for you. And once you get used to that standard... Game changer, game changer, because you understand that when a chick really likes me, she moves this way. When a chick doesn't really like me, she moves this way. We're not going. Let me know if you can hear me. Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. I don't know what happened with my connection, but we cooking. About to get back into these questions. Let's go. Yeah, man, hold on. Let me just, let me say it again. Let me say it again. In case anybody came in here late, they didn't hear me. It's not about the smashing. That's a bonus. What you really fall in love with is when you tell a woman what to do and she says, okay. She doesn't ask you why. You can ask a chick the most random shit. Yo, move to this side of the street. She doesn't, why? Why would I do that? Why? She just does it. And you're like, oh, shit. Like, I get it now. I get it. It's not about the sex. It's not about, oh, she's this, she's that. You understand your power and your value. Really, listen, when you watch this live stream back, rewind that part. Keep listening to that. It's not about the smashing or how pretty the chick is or any of that. When you see that women do what you say when you tell them to do it, that's what you fall in love with. That becomes a standard. Remember that. I'm really trying to get into your mentalities, guys. Remember that. Just remember that part. I dropped weed after 20 years to become a paramedic. So remember, 
I forgot your name, but you were in here. You asked, how do I stop smoking weed? And then you put it in big capital letters, like telling me like I have to do something. Tell me how to stop smoking weed. You see this? This is a real man, Jason R. I dropped weed after 20 years to become a paramedic. What was more important to Jason R? Becoming a paramedic or smoking weed? What are we talking about? So see what I just said? It's kind of like me. My message was clear. I wanted to do YouTube. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be like, uh, uh, build a brotherhood, right? My message, I did not want it to get messed up. I didn't want my energy to come across weird through the screen or anything, or lazy. So what was more important? Me building this YouTube, right? Or weed? Really think about it, bro. And Jason R said, and I love weed. Bro, I love weed too. Who don't love weed? Yo, bro. What's your opinion on psychedelics like mushrooms? Bro, I've taken acid before. I've taken mushrooms before. Honestly speaking, if you're a person who loves yourself and you're comfortable in your own skin, bro, there's nothing wrong with psychedelics. But I don't do them anymore. But I'm just saying, a lot of people freak out. I believe it's because you're not even chill with yourself. You don't have chill thoughts. You're not chill inside of your head. Like, so it freaks a lot of people out. But, you know, I heard that, um, I heard somewhere that, you know, something about taking um, psychedelics, it unlocks something. It unlocks something and uh, makes you see everything. Like, you could take a psychedelic and then be like, yo, I got a plan. And then just get straight to it. So, you know, it, it all depends on how people use it. Um, I don't really see anything. I don't see them as a bad thing. I just see the effects. I need some inner work to do so psychedelics might help with it. I mean, listen, guys, it's all about what you want to do. And um, honestly, I'm just speaking from my experience. You know, I've tried psychedelics and it didn't do anything negative to me. If anything, you know, on psychedelics, you start realizing a lot of stuff. And um, it's a weird experience that I can't really explain but it, it's more a positive than a negative thing it's not i'm telling you when you like who you are as a person i don't i don't think you'll really freak out i think they can help you shout out to justin j peace and prosperity shalom brother I'll push all your BS to the forefront. Yep. I'm, I, I, I'm assuming that this was from what I was saying before, but. Hi, brother. You think game should differ with really shy girls you encounter? Bro, knock it off. Knock it off. Didn't I tell you everything's the same? Don't I tell you that? Everything's the same. Everything's the same. Listen, bro. Women could be shy or whatever. They will start talking to you. They will start talking to you. And then you can communicate with them how you think they're attractive. I know you like me. There's no reason to be shy. What are you doing on Friday? Like, bro, this is so simple. But don't go over here thinking, There's a, is there a different way to talk to shy girls? Is that Because listen, look, contrary to popular belief, she could be acting very shy. But if you know how to talk, just talk to her, bro. She'll open up to you. And if she don't want to open up to you, she don't like you like that. Or she's not ready for anything right now. Okay? Women do have that choice to be all up in their head and they're not ready for anything at the moment. Okay, let her be her and you be you. Why you want to go after a chick that's shy? I Listen, personally, that turns me off. I go up to a chick and she's, oh, uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. We're done here. We're done here. Angel G, bro, thanks for the super chat. Uh, I'm glad that you like the videos. Uh, I really try my best to be authentic in the videos, not 
lie to you guys and keep you guys weak. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just saying, if you look around, man, it's a lot of complaining, it's not a lot of changing. Just got out of an LTR a couple months ago. Now I feel lost in these streets. Why do you feel lost in these streets? Let me explain something to you, brother. The reason why you feel lost out in these streets is because you attach your identity to that relationship. Okay? Probably not even giving yourself enough credit. Probably a dope-ass dude. Probably have a lot of things to be grateful for in his life. Probably attractive to other women. You know? And you're letting all of this affect you because you, you attach your identity to a woman. Why do you think my mentality is, I'm never hating on women, but I, I'm going to tell the truth. They're not special. They're not special. Do you think I could ever feel like that? Do you think I would ever have a thought run across my mind like that? No, because I already know. They're not special, bro. Kid Moses, go on my Instagram. It's Justin J underscore. DM me. I'm going to send you the flyer. We'll get on call. Shit, we can even get on call after I get off of this live, you know? All about the business, all about helping my brothers. And um, just remember, if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching or you need one-on-ones, right, for anything, we talk about everything. We can talk about whatever it is that you want. Go on my Instagram, Justin J underscore, and just send me a message. And then, um, yeah, we can just, we can get on that because I want everybody to be able to have access to me. Like I said in the beginning of the video, that's why I do these lives. You see, I'm sitting here answering questions. I really want to provide as much value to my brothers as I can. And if you notice when I'm answering comments, I call you guys my brothers, bro. We're brothers. We're a brotherhood. Like-minded brothers. How do you become more masculine though? Like, how do you feel masculine in the mind? What do you mean? Be, yo, look, becoming masculine, the reason why you dudes don't understand it or like you're having a hard time thinking that, oh, I could just watch this video or I could just, bro, you gotta go out into life, build your results, and then you become more masculine. Bro, listen, do you think I built these results to have a chick disrespect me? Do you think I built the results to be fat? Do you think I built my results to be mediocre? Do you think I built my results to have people talk down on me? Do you think I built these results to just walk with lazy posture and like I'm not sure and indecisive and I'm a little puny dude? Do you think that? It comes from getting results, bro. Becoming more masculine, it just comes from that. How do you think I'm able to tell women? Shut up, We're not, I'm not dealing with that. Cause I've done it a bunch of times. How do you think I'm able to check somebody who's bringing me an attitude, toxic behavior, family member, whoever? Yo, 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 yo. Bro, I don't know if you think you're going to talk to me like that, but that's not what we're going to do. I show you respect, therefore you show me respect. You understand? Together we can coexist, but all that other shit, I don't know about that. You understand? Become more masculine, bro. Being direct with people. You know how? Be, you know how I know how to, you know how I'm, I'm able to articulate being direct in such a, it's not really being an asshole. It's just being direct, right? Because I went and got my own results. I've literally had people be direct with me. And I never really thought about it as, wait, is it, is it how he said what he said? Or should I pay attention to what was being said? My mindset used to be, I don't like how he said that. My mind says switch. Yo, the message is the most important part. You have to go outside, bro, be put in different situations and stuff. And then you, you just react accordingly, bro. But you got to feel like you're that dude. You got to build the results up. That's how you become more masculine because you know what? You pride yourself off of that shit. That's why a lot of these dudes, oh, um, you know, women this and women that and I won't get this job. And what if this person doesn't like me and this person's trying to shame me and blah, blah. What? Bro, I pride myself off of being a real motherfucker every day, bro. 
There's no way I'm accepting any of that. That's what boosts up that masculinity. And it's not fake because you had to go get results. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations that you just found out you were actually comfortable in. That's what builds up the masculinity, bro. And I want to say something, too. It's going to improve your life in general. The Internet is fine. Like my channel, uh, a couple other ones and, you know, research and, uh, you know, just doing your thing online. But to sit and live in the Internet. No. I don't know if there's anybody in the chat who this would be pertaining to. But look, I'm going to say it like this. A lot of dudes live on the Internet. A lot of dudes live on the internet. Remember before when I'm telling dude, in my experience, I've approached a bunch of women, slept with a bunch of women, uh, went out with a bunch of women from my job. I never once got fired. In my experience, not what the statistics say, not what the red pill says, not what the black pill says, not what the MGTOW says, not what any of this shit. In my experience... All you do is cling to shit on the internet and they wonder why shit's not working. Remember that story I told you of the dude talking about on the first date? Well, I don't, I don't, you know, I want my woman to dress for me and only me. I told him, I said, that's impossible, bro. Women love attention. What are you talking about? She doesn't just do things for you. She don't even know you. This is the first date and you're telling her this? Like, there's something really mentally wrong with you? But you know why? It's because the red pill, the black pill, the MGTOW, the da 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 and you sit inside, and I can already tell when we got on the call. You sit inside, and you watch these video after video after video after video, and you think that this is how reality goes. Are you serious, bro? This is why I get, I feel almost disrespected when somebody's like, yo, yo, bro, you're the new red pill manosphere guy. I'm not none of that shit, bro. Don't get me confused with that. I'm trying to help you in life. I'm trying to help you. I'm not regurgitating the same message to keep you sick. And keep you coming back to keep you mad and not get you any results. Why do you think I love the comments where it's like, bro, you've really changed my life, bro. My dating life. You know, I, 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 I'm I, doing better at my job. I'm doing better in my business. My masculine frame, bro, that shit is rising up. I'm really that dude. And it's all because of you. That's what I'm doing here. I want you dudes to really understand that, bro. And it takes balls, bro. To do it this way because i could lie i could lie and tell you all everything that you want to hear Bro, just met a girl who showed super high interest off rip. Then she started with slow responses. I don't know if she's shy or just gets more validation playing games. Should I cut her out? See, another part of the video. Oh my, I love doing these live streams. You guys are gonna learn so much. Women love attention. You're doing this to yourself. Women can only play games when you open lanes for them to play games. Okay, so just met a girl who showed super high interest off rip. Then she started with the slow responses, but there couldn't be any slow responses if you just set the date. Was you on FaceTime? Was you really getting to like uh, letting her see that side of your personality, see your mannerisms, see your facial structure? Uh, bro, like I'm never doing it on camera for you, dudes. You don't think I'm in a tank top or a cutoff or a muscle tee when I'm on FaceTime with these chicks? Yeah, let them see what's up. Yeah, I know you want to be picked up and slammed around. Bro. Other than that, we're not texting. We're not going back and forth all day. Listen. You think a chick is super high interest, but what the hell does she do? What did she do? What did she do? What did she do? Literally, tell us. I will read it. What's your name? Joshua Holder, and I'm not coming at you. I appreciate that you love my videos, but I need, this is a teachable moment, bro. What did she do that showed you she was super high interest? Did she come straight over to your house? You see, you dudes think the high interest is before the contact. 
It, no, she's interested. That's it. But let's say you, you met a girl, you got her number, and then you tell her, yo, come back to my house tonight and bring a bottle of wine. She does what you say. We're not even talking about sex yet. She comes through with the bottle of wine. She does what you say. That's high interest. A woman giving you her number and texting back and forth. Do you know women give out their numbers to dudes that they don't even like because they're uh, sometimes women are afraid. Like, I don't know if this dude will freak out or I just want to get this dusty out of my face. So I'll give him my number. They might even text back and forth because they love attention. But that does not equal high interest. See, when you open lanes like that and you adopt this mentality, wait a minute. How to develop a standard of how you deal with women. Men, that's going to become your standard now. That's going to become, instead of being direct, yo, I think you sexy as hell. Like, I'm trying to see you and shit. I got some free time coming in Friday, so what you doing on Friday? Make shit happen. Stop this texting back and forth. That's exactly why dudes, yo, these dating apps don't work, bro. Yes, they do. They really do. You can match with a chick, meet her the same day. But the problem is dudes want to text back and forth and think, oh, well, she really likes me. That's another form of living on the Internet, living through the phone, living through the text, living on the screen. Bro, you got to make things happen in real life. That's what makes women, if they even start to build an attachment to you, it has to happen, bro. Y'all got to meet up. Y'all got to touch. Y'all got to kiss. Y'all got to have sex. You got to get to it. All this texting back and forth. So she's high interest, right? This is what I'm saying. I never want dudes to get things confused, but it's like, yo, there's one time I had a dude uh, DM me and say, you know, I heard this thing in your video of you should chase a high value woman. I said, when did I ever say a high value woman? Or did I say a woman with good qualities? And when do I ever tell you to chase that? Justin J forgets he's top 10% and is leveled up. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do not use that excuse. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Why am I any different than you? Why? Why? Because I got a YouTube, bro. Anybody can start a YouTube. Why am I the top 10%? See, even with that, that's that's that whole putting people on a pedestal shit. Oh, you buff and handsome and we ugly. Bro, what is what is that, bro? What is this mentality, bro? Hold on, gotta pause a lot to, to address this comment right here, bro. And I'm not coming at you, bro. It's for your mentality. Why do you think that way? It's like how I was talking about the number scale. Dudes will call themselves a six. Well, I'm a six and I'm I'm a six in the face, and I'm a seven in the body, and um, I'm only five foot nine, so I feel like I'm not special. So that's your mindset with how you see yourself, bro. Bro, don't worry about them dudes. I told you already, solid sense they Stop talking about the other dudes, bro. Listen, this mindset you gotta have, bro, I said in one of my shorts when I was first coming up, you gotta have so much confidence where you're damn near delusional with it. And I tell you, like, always keep it real with yourself. But that sense of confidence has to damn near be delusional because it's like nobody can shake that shit, bro. Nobody can shake it. It's literally to the point where it's built in you, bro, that you know you're going to go after something. You know that you're going to get it. If you don't get it, you'll go after something else and you'll get it. You'll make things happen because you are him and they are them. Does anybody not understand that saying? Excuse me. Yeah, chase success. Stop being jealous of people. Yes, bro. This is what I was saying in um in one of my other lives. Uh, what did I said in a video. When people do that thing of having that rhetoric of, well, if I was him and I had his money, I would do this. I would buy this. And if I was him, I would be smashing these type of chicks. And if I was him, blah, 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 blah. But the beauty of being a man is, uh, no, 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 the beauty of being an individual in general is waking up every day, creating opportunities, going after what you want, and making things happen. So if you see a dude and you go, he's got success, why don't you go become successful? Because you can. 
Because you can, right? So if you want to become rich, you know you can go become rich, right? Everything that you want to have, if you want to go approach beautiful women and, and, and try to make things happen with them, you can go do that. Why are you worried about what somebody else is doing? Bro, see, that mindset is very weak and it's detrimental to, like, bro, listen, let's go back to the, the, the title of the video. This is why I say, too, when you're a real dude, everything always comes back to, like, everything is the truth, so it just always... How to improve your dating life and develop a standard of how you deal with women. So if you feel like just you're always looking at it from a perspective of if I was him, if I was this, if I had this, if I was this, then I would be good enough. Then I would be then I would be, um, you know, I would measure up. That don't make no sense, bro. I'm literally sitting here in my brain. It can't. It's not. It's not doing like the when shit makes sense. It's not doing it. Cut that shit out, bro. Um, why when I always speak to women and then at times they act like they don't see me or I don't or don't speak It ain't gonna happen that much. You ain't really approaching that many chicks Bro, you're a modern stoic putting stuff into terms That the masses can understand and internalize. It's why I love this channel. Thank you, Jason R If she starts with slow responses just confront her about it or just cut it off. Why are you confronting her about it? Why are you confronting her about it? Why? She's not allowed to uh, respond slow. Yo, let's get into another part of the video. Remember when I'm telling you the story of the dude that I'm on the one-on-one -on -one with? And um, he's like, well, yeah, I started telling her I don't like girls who do this. And I don't like girls who blah, 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 blah. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Don't you want to hook up with this chick? Don't you want to make something happen? So why are you turning her off from you? Because when you start with a chick, you're just going to hook up. Then you see how she is, and then you figure out what category to move her into. You see, women be having more game than dudes. Why do you think they got the friend zone? Um, guy who changes my tire. Guy who buys me coffee. Guy for this. Side piece. Sneaky link. They're like more advanced. When really, that's how you should be thinking. Oh, she's telling on herself. Recreational use only. Sneaky link. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., girl. Short term only. LTR. I can see, oh no, I can see LTR vibes. Buy me things. Do, do whatever I want. Do whatever, bro, do whatever I need her to do, but there's no title relationship. All these different categories. Why don't you look at it like that? Explain. I'm going to wait, man. I'm going to let it sink in. So why is it like, oh, you got to, uh, you know, what did it say again? That you have to confront her about it or cut her off. You know what said, bro, do you understand that no response is the best response? Bro, I can't wait to get into this redemption story. No response is the best response. No response is the best response. You worried about why a chick is sending you messages back slow. I don't know. Maybe she's with another dude. Maybe she's actually busy. Maybe she has a choice to not text you as fast as you would like, but you shouldn't even be doing all the texting in the first place. Should really be on FaceTime. Can she get away from you on FaceTime? Exactly, Luca. Or if you really want her, just call her. And if she still wants you, she'll get... Show sure, what? Give another chance. I ain't like that rhetoric. What? She'll give you another chance. What do you mean give you? Oh, my bad. Who you talking to, Luca? Oh, yeah, bro. See, even with that. Where you at, bro? 
Come on, come on. I, I really got to help my bro out. Hold on. Bro, oh, no, no, Jamil, Alvr, Al tell us some tips based on your experience how to keep the girls from, from your job while also keeping your job. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? I'm really confused, bro. How do you keep the girls from your job while also keeping the job? What does that mean? And why is the focus on keeping the girls? Why is the focus on keeping the girls? Because you know the dudes that do the best with women understand that you have to catch Release. Catch. Release. If she don't want to do anything you're trying to do, bye. If she smash you and never talk to you again, cool. As long as you still got your job, right? Yo, I'm going to keep saying it and I'm going to drill it into everyone in your heads, bro. Women are not special. You are special. You are important. You matter. Your job matters. How you get paid matters. What the fuck you care about trying to keep some chick around for, bro? I feel like I'm just fucking smack you through the camera, bro. Oh my god. You yeah, advice on how to keep these girls around, bro? That's how you sound, bro. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, bro. But come on, man. Something got to give. If you got to try to keep a woman around, she don't like you, bro. She don't like you, bro. Why do y'all like women that don't like you back? Why? All right, like, I'm going to explain with my main chick. You know why she's in that position? She don't got no exclusivity, no title. If I go out on a date with a chick tomorrow, she can't say shit, and she knows that. Do you understand I acted like I was broke? When we first met, she took me to get groceries. Was I trying to raise her interest? I really need y'all to understand because y'all always thinking, oh, women ain't this and they're not going to go for this. And how can I keep this girl? What? Bro, if she not trying to do what I need her to do, we're done here. Most dudes try to act like they got money. They would have led with the YouTube channel, the Instagram. Oh, look, I'm somebody. Oh, you should deal with me and look at me. Ha, 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 ha. Get fuck out of here. Acting like I was broke. I want to see if she really likes me or not. I want to see if she really down for me or not. With no exclusivity. So what would happen? Okay, bro. So what happens later down the line if I decide to give her exclusivity and give it a title? Will she respect it? Because she had to work and because she really likes me? Or am I worried about keeping her around? And you're talking about your job. Bruh, I'm done. I'm done. See, Ray J, Ray J gets it. Ray J get and look. Yes, I will upload the live. Tips for handsome men who struggle with women even when they don't when they do approaching decent conversations. Bro, I got a whole video why some handsome men have problems with women. I got a whole video why handsome men struggle with uh, social anxiety. I got all these videos that you can really learn from. Tips for handsome men who struggle with women. Even when they do approaching and decent conversations. Well, what are you, well, that's all it is, bro. I can't, there's no superpower to talking with women, bro. 
You just got to be non-judgmental, be cool, be clear and concise, and let them know what you're trying to do. Let them know what you're trying to do. See, a lot of dudes don't want to do that because they think that, you know, it's going to repel a woman. No, a woman either has to do what you want to do or go away. It's really that simple. Do what you want to do or what you're offering or go away. I got a date this weekend because I made shit happen. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's just more proof. This is more proof. Everything I'm saying. I just seen a comment. It's crazy how your videos are crazy accurate. It's the same thing how when I get on these one-on-one -on -one calls, I'll let the person talk for 60 seconds. I'll take over and they're like, holy shit, how'd you know that? It's almost as like if you were there with us. I know everything, brother. I know everything. I used to be that guy. Now I'm not. I used to be in, you know, thinking all this goofy shit. Now I don't. I used to be at the bottom. I'm at the top. You know, I used to be just the average motherfucker that had these thoughts. And now I'm not. So I understand. In a video, I had said it. It's not to diss anybody. I said, you know, I understand bitch assness so, so, uh, like, I understand bitch assness so good because I used to be a bitch ass dude. You understand? I understand weak behavior because I used to have weak behavior. I understand, I understand weak traits in a man and a male because I used to have weak traits in me as a male. Yeah, yeah, I saw I see somebody said all this texting is bad news. Yup, look, here's the thing too, we're being an attractive dude from a look standpoint, right? So you'll get a chick's number easily. You'll go out and get a lot of attention from chicks easily. But when it comes time to seal the deal and make things happen, do you know by you not letting shit breathe and really getting like pushing sexual energy, you could do all that texting and a woman just designates you to the friend zone because she talks with her girlfriends. She talks with, like I said, they'll talk to anybody. She talks with old people in the grocery store. She talks to guys who are unattractive. Designates them to the friend zone. She has uh, male friends, all this stuff, bro. So you get thrown in that pile, that category. What makes you stand out is telling her what you want to happen and telling her you think she's sexy. I know when we meet up, we're not even going to be able to keep our hands off of each other because I'm sexy, you're sexy. Stuff like that, bro. And it's not being disrespectful to a woman. Do you want to be in the sexually attractive category or do you want to be designated to the friend zone? Really think, and that's that your whole mindset needs to switch. That, yep, these chicks ain't special. So why wouldn't I tell a chick what I really think? Why am I afraid to do that? She ain't special to me. She's not. Really think about it. Ventum, thank you, brother. Thank you. You know, I had a one-on-one -on -one call, and as soon as I got off of it, somebody booked another one. And then when we got off that call, the first one, he DMs me and he goes, uh, he was like, yeah, I, he just called me. And, um, you know, I sent him your way because uh, I told him that you give really good advice. So just thank you, brother, uh, for, you know, spreading the, the channel, uh, spreading the information, because this stuff saves lives, bro. And it really, it makes you understand the power that you have as a man. It really makes you understand that you're unstoppable out here. The only person in your way is you at the end of the day. It ain't about what everybody else thinks. It's about what you think. You got to be grateful for your life. You got to love your surroundings. Shit. You know, I just put up the lights in my, in my room. I got, a, I got a, a master bedroom and I got a, 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 a bedroom that's a little bit smaller than on the other side. The master bedroom, I put those lights up on the ceiling that like glow and they change in the dark. Bro, I'm loving my life, bro. I just told you. I got my own home gym right here. I was just working out for an hour and a half before. When I get off here, I'm gonna be making chicken breasts and eating broccoli and drinking water, bro. Like, what there? What is there not to be grateful for, bro? Life is good. But a lot of dudes are worried about everything else, so they don't even really realize, damn, I got a lot of shit to be grateful for. Oh, so I'm not gonna get every girl in the world. I still have a lot to be grateful for. <laughs> Oh, you know, 
Um, I don't have uh, money and status, so that means that I'm not cool to myself. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? Men live real life. Males live on the internet. <laughs> my boy, Dark Nova. This is my boy, Dark Nova with the consistency, bro. But let me repeat that. Literally made me laugh out loud. Men live real life. Males live on the internet. See, that's why dudes be believing all this goofy stuff. All of this, um, I don't even want to get into the goofy uh, wordplay. But is that coming from your own experience or somebody else telling you what to think? No, got to go out in real life. If you got breath in your lungs, you better be grateful. Thank you. Thank you. You have another opportunity to fix or right whatever wrong that happened. You have another opportunity to become successful in any way that you want to uh, deem success. You have every opportunity to make a change if you're going through something that's messed up right now. If you feel like you've been done unjust, if you feel like somebody walked all over you, the next day is another day. So if you're still breathing... You can't really let stuff affect you out here because when you let stuff affect you out here, it pushes you backwards. Like the, the topic of today, okay? How to improve your dating life and develop a standard on how you deal with women. So if you take rejections after rejections, if you got chicks uh, uh, responding to you slow in text messages and you're taking that shit personal and you're not going to, you're not thinking to yourself, oh, I'm about to get my numbers up. It's a numbers game. So I'm about to go even harder now. I'm getting my numbers up. Do you think you're going to care about the chick that's responding slow, bro? Are you like, good thing she's out of the way because now I need to plan a date for that day and then plan a backup date for that day in case the next one starts slow responding like her? I don't need to check her for it. Yo, you wasn't texting me back fast enough. What are you doing? I want your attention. Now, look, a lot of the stuff with this, uh, you know why? You know, your standard with you have you have to develop that standard when dealing with women. A lot of dudes act like women. That's why women get turned off, man. Women want your attention. You're worried about, you know, and I'm going back to the, the dude who said, you know, she was texting slow. So so I should say something about it, bro. Why do you want her attention so bad, bro? It makes you feel that good about yourself. Women are looking for your attention and validation to feel good about themselves, even when they don't like you. But see, you really like her and you're chasing that. It's like it, when you really, that's why I love uh, being able to spit this stuff the way I do. Because it, it literally lets you understand like, yo, what the fuck? I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You want a chick to like you so bad? You thinking that you're about to check this chick? Women don't even deserve to be checked. Women don't even deserve to be checked like that. Now, like I said, if you're in a restaurant, she on her phone, yo, put that shit down. What's wrong with you? Or you could even say it nicer than that. Uh, put the phone down, bro. We here. You just look at her. You don't gotta get all mad and shit. Just tell her. That's 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 acceptable. But to text you back too slow, and then you're acting like you need to check her. Do you know that make a, that'll make a woman get turned off? Same way how I said on the one on one call, dude was like, I don't like women that do does this and does this and does that. Turned her off. And what did she say with her wordplay? She like went and like said, I told them, oh. So you get affectionate with girls, you get affectionate really quick with girls that don't live up to your standards. Why the hell would she say that? Why would she say that? Because he shot himself in the fucking foot. Saw this chick, saw that a chick wasn't high interest, but she was fine as hell. So cut it off third day. Get over these women. If they don't want you, it's not that deep. Facts. Facts. Somebody got to want you. Somebody got to want her. She going to go somewhere else? You're going to go somewhere else. And life goes on. That's all it is, bro. You got to accept this. And your game just becomes super tight. Because once you realize that, like, okay, if I tell a chick to do something, she tells me, no, go fuck yourself. I'm like, okay, she don't like me like that. We're not compatible like that. Is that an ad hominem attack? Like, is that a personal attack on me? Should I really take it to the heart? Like, yo, damn, bro, she don't like me, bro. Luca, it's not about you having the backlash on anything, bro. Just don't do it, bro. You got to get used to not caring. Why do you care if a chick texts you back? Bro, listen. 
why don't y'all listen? In my experience, Justin, I've never had a backlash from asking a girl why she left me on red of anything. Like, we very close. It could be because she already knows that I'm kind of, what, bro? Stop, stop, stop. Listen. It's like, I feel like I'm a teacher and like our kids in the class, like, <laughs> what I'm telling you, bro, stop doing that. Stop. If she's taking long to text you back, bro, that's a good thing. You don't want chicks to be all up your ass all the time because that becomes the standard. See, that's what I was talking about. That's what you want. That's what you want because you ain't got nothing going on, bro. You got nothing going on. Why do you want a chick constantly riding on you, bro? I can't stand when a chick does that. I want room to breathe. When I text you, I'll text you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Luca, that's beta. Stop it. If she's taking too long, go no contact. And see, it's not even no contact. You should be doing it. Okay, look. Before I got on this live, I was on the phone with my main, right? Hung up the phone on her. You think she's over there like, oh my God, I didn't hear from him. And she watching the live right now. You really think she's, oh my God. And I, or I'm like, oh, let me, hold on. I've been on live for, you know, uh, this long. I don't want her to think anything. Like, oh, I, I want to give her attention. I'm looking for a hit of attention from her. Thank you. You should be busy throughout the day. Look, look at everything I just named for you, bro. Look at everything I named. I just told you I worked out for, uh, before. I showed you the calories. Burn like now it's at 2200 calories. Um, 13k steps in there is probably up to uh 24. Oh, it just up, I guess it updated late 24 uh k steps, uh 20, 24, 25, whatever. Bro, I've been at it today, bro. I've been busy. I'm on this live call. I mean, I said this live call, I'm on live right now. Then after this, then I tell her brother to book a one-on-one -on -one, and then just little stuff throughout the day before that. Like, I just don't get it, bro. Like, y'all are so worried about these women, bro. It'll make you, it'll make or break your day, bro. If a chick don't send you a text. It, okay, now rejection, I could kind of understand, bro. Like, because you walk up to a chick and yeah, bro, like, it, it, like for me, it don't take a lot, but I can still understand because like I say, how I used to be. I would understand, like, damn, how you would feel some type of way if a chick tells you no or something. That's face-to-face. -face. I get it. Or a chick strings you along for attention, goes on one date with you, and then, um, you know, like, she doesn't want to progress things with you. I can understand feeling some type of way. But because a chick didn't text you in a timely fashion to you, bro, you sound kind of like stage five clinger, you know? If she chew on the left side while eating a cheeseburger, no contact. Bro, I know where you're going with that. I, I think that's the funniest part of my no contact videos too. When I say her dog died, no contact. Oh, my job called me, no contact. Oh, I'm going to be about, you know, an hour late. Something happened to my car, no contact. Oh, you know, this is just a, a really bad time for me. Can, I'm, can we reschedule in like three weeks? No contact. Oh my, uh, you know, I already had these plans and look, no contact. This is, I can't wait to tell the redemption story. See, when the, when the smoke clears and it's all said and done, that no contact is powerful. That no contact is powerful. Even if you started off acting like a little punk bitch in the beginning, you act like a beta male. Oh, oh, that no contact? She can't feed off of you anymore? Oh, she don't like that. Oh, she don't like that. That's why the no contact is undefeated. Undefeated. Damn, comment section. See, I love when my bros in here, you know, give good advice. I see at Luca, at Luca. Joshua Holder said, we talked for a minute when we met. She asked for my number. I kept it short over text. Said I was trying to FaceTime. No reply off that. But what? what, what hold on. That's, that's beautiful.
See, look, how you were saying, you know, I tried, to, I wanted to FaceTime her, I didn't get a response. That's cool. She knows what you're trying to do now. So you let that breathe. You let that breathe. So now when she does reach out to you, so what's up with that FaceTime call though? What's up? That's all. It's never really like a big deal to be tripping over. You just tell her like, oh, okay, so let's pick basically with what you're saying. You can either say it or say it in a different way. Let's pick up from where we left off. We're not about, see, if you let women do this, women don't like, uh, like to pick up from where you left off. They like to text you after they do some bullshit like, hey, what's up? How you been? Yeah, don't hate me. You were supposed to FaceTime me. We were supposed to make stuff happen. You were supposed to come to my crib. We was all of that shit. Don't don't ever do that. Or it's just a straight block without the block. Hold on. That was my chaps. This is hilarious to watch these comments. We see who gets it and who don't. Thank you, bro. Thank you. It's almost as if like I be lose. I'm like losing my sanity a little bit because I don't get why dudes don't want to get better. They want to just be stuck in this like uh, this merry-go-round of confusion, and it's really simple. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something right now. To improve your dating life, bro, it's very very simple. It's very simple. I'm telling you, there was a time. Where I didn't have the right approach and I didn't even know how to use dating apps. So I was always, I was one of those guys. Yo, these bitches, bro, they're so, they're mean and they don't want to talk and blah, blah. And then even with the dating apps, these dating apps don't work and blah, blah. I used to be that guy. Now I'm not. That's why I'm telling you guys, ditch that shit, man. Get rid of it. It's like repellent on you. Get rid of that shit, bro. Do you understand why I'm telling you what I'm telling you? Because I'm, I'm telling you from my own experience and my experience matches with yours. If you're coming in in the, in the, if you're coming in the live chat and you're saying things like, oh, well, you know, how do I approach a girl who's shy? And how do I do this? And how do I do this? And um, should I check her if she doesn't text me back in a timely fashion? Bro, I used to be kind of like that guy, bro. And I'm not. And women, bro, women tell me all the time, like, you're not like any dude I've met. I've met a lot. I just feel, like, cool with you, like, as if we knew each other for a long time now, but we just met. You know what that means about you, bro? When chicks are used to telling you stuff like that, you got a good soul, bro. You got that good energy. But do you think that energy comes off of, like, being outcome dependent, not having an abundance mindset, being worried about her fucking body count? Yeah, I, I, I got to be low with it because every time I talk about body count, people are freaking out. People are freaking, yo, it matters, bro. It matters. You're trying to wait for, bro. Don't, duh. We already know that. We already know that. We already know the body count counts if you want to uh, be in a, a, a relationship with her for long. But does the body count matter if you're trying to smash? If you're really trying to get to know her? Y'all be, see, this is why women, um, this is what hinders, right? How to improve your dating life? That's one thing you gotta let go, bro. You gotta let that body count shit go, bro. And let me whisper it, body count. So nobody goes crazy when they hear body count, okay? If a woman has a high body count, that's okay. That's her fucking prerogative. But for you to sit here and be like, mm, how dare you? You slept with other guys before me. Now I'm upset. That shit don't make no sense, bro. You got repellent all over you. Stop it. Let the chick be who she is. Let her tell her so. Let her give you the information so you have the drop on women. Yeah, we lie about our body counts all the time because these bitch ass dudes can't handle it. Even the dudes that we like, we I had to get rid of them because I already knew. Like, I liked him physically, but I already knew that. There was a bunch of shit I would have to hold back from him. Guarantee you never had a chick tell you that. Wouldn't, wouldn't you like to know shit like that? Helps you operate better with other women instead of worrying about, oh, well, you know, she's been with all these guys. She can't pair bond. That's exactly what I said. So even with that, why even put that in the comment section? Just listen. Just just listen. If she got a high body coach, she's not wifey. Didn't I just say that shit verbatim? We don't need you being my little echo. What are you? A, um, What's that bird? What are you, a toucan? What are you, what are you that? Uh... What's that bird that mimics you? A parrot. Are you a parrot, bro? Just listen. See, when it comes to like things y'all can't understand, y'all love to chime in. 
That's why I said body, body count. Y'all love to chime in on shit. Y'all don't really understand like that, bro. Yeah, not. Y'all don't. I mean, like, y'all don't. You, you don't. You don't understand. Who gives a fuck if she got a high body count? Who gives a fuck, bro? I don't care. I'm trying to fuck anyway. That's what all y'all say too. I'm just trying to smash, bro. How to develop, or how to improve your life and develop a standard on how you deal with women. You know what's my standard? I don't judge them. I don't care, bro. Like, this is my standard. You do what I say or you're out of here. I don't even lead like that. I don't outwardly say that. My swagger, my energy, my charisma lets her know I'm that dude. You can be replaced. Yo, this chick told me the other day, you're not good at boosting. You're not good at... Bro, you're unintentionally funny. I know I am, bro. Like, I'm that dude. Yo, yo, chicks tell me that shit all the time. Look, never care about body body count at all. Yeah, I mean, like, bro, what, what is it worth, bro? And, and here's the thing. For you to find out the truth about the body count, for you to find it out, you have to be non-judgmental. You have to be like, oh, I, oh, well, you have to fuck with them losers. Now you're with a winner. Like, you now you're in the presence of a winner. I don't care about that shit. A chick literally wants to tell you that. A chick will literally want to tell you, see, a lot of dudes say, you'll never know the body count. Oh, yes, you will. Yes, you will. When you ditch the judgmental vibes, when you're just ditching them, like when you're literally telling her like, yo, you could be yourself. Like, I'm me, you're you, like whatever. She'll let you know because if she feels like you can handle it, she'll let you know, bro. And then at that point, bro, here's the thing, too. Chris, Chris, Chris. I got, we got parents. Hold on. Let's shout out to the parents. Chris, Chris, thanks for being my parent. That man, Sean, thanks for being my little parrot. Any more parrots? Let's just get off the body count because you guys can't handle it, man. Guys act like kids. Can you at least give the woman credit for actually telling you if she did tell you? Like, geez, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yo, this is crazy, bro. And don't you gotta have sex with a chick to raise her body count? No, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't wanna. I don't. Mm. It'll hurt me trying to think like you dudes, I guess, but. You can't be feminine and try to attract a feminine wim uh, feminine woman. It's common sense. Thank you. It seems like ICT, the Django, he, he, he understands it. Torek Harris, real life game. He understands it. Like, I don't get it. This is hilarious to watch these comments. All right. Cookie 77, they will lie. They will lie? They'll lie to a dude who's not judgmental? They'll lie? They'll lie to a dude who they can be themselves with? Who literally tells them, yeah, I had three sons before. I fucked in public before. Done all of it. What's your most exciting story? I want to hear all about it. Word. That ain't shit. Check out this story. You think she's really going to be lying to that dude? Is it feminine to smoke? No. Bro, in this life, you do what you want. Might come with consequences, but you do what you want. They lie to peons. Thank you. If she's doing what you want her to do, the, the body count don't matter. It's more of a preference. 
Oh my gosh, somebody with a brain. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I gotta shout you out, bro. 100K, my boy. What about people who are born with a feminine temperament? Not all the way though, but maybe some cause. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. All right, I'm about to get out of here. But before I do, I want to explain this. Man, it's really like a story of where a dude finally realizes his worth. He says, you know, I'm not dealing with you, Goofy. I don't care how bad. Shut up. Shut up. We're done talking about the body count. You see what I mean? You dudes are so like. Guys, don't be like these guys. Don't be like them. We're already done talking about the body count. You still want to talk about the fucking body count. Guess who women are special to? Guess who, guess who women are special to? You're exposing yourself. I thought they weren't special. But like I was saying, can we move on? Can we do that? Bro, let's take a moment of silence. Uh, maybe it's behind. That's why they keep talking about the body count. But, bro, we're done here. So let's wait. I just don't want to see any more body count comments. I want to see if these dudes are really that slow that they still want to keep talking about a chick's body count. And it's over with. Y'all ain't even got no chick trying to be down for you like that or be your wife like that anyway. So what the fuck is you worried about the body count for? Really? Like, yo, nah, 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 nah I'm on my shit. Do y'all got, do you have chicks begging to be with you to be your wife like that? Where you need to know the body count that bad? Or, or are y'all dumb motherfuckers trying to qualify to them worrying about the body count? Half the dudes here are stuck with the loser mentality. All right, but then that, you know, thank you. But then that just means... You know, they're using my videos as a cope, and that's not what I want. I don't want you to use videos to cope. I want you to actually get better. Oh, women with a body count, body. You ain't fucking. You ain't raising nobody body count thinking like that. Because, and here's the thing, he tried to intertwine it with the whole STDs thing. Every dude would think like that, which would mean the scent, her scent goes off, she got a high body count, we're done. No, why would I want used goods? That's all. Because women can only be used for sex. You cannot put a woman to work. You have to always be dealing with a woman sexually, right? It's what you do. You slow dudes don't understand. Matter of fact, that's too much game for you. Now, I was, I was about to go off on that. But y'all keep thinking that sex is the only thing that you need from a woman. That's why y'all lead with looks. That's why y'all lead with all that shit as opposed to how can I keep my foot on this chick's neck and put her to work? I don't even want the sex. Y'all not ready, bro. Little kid mentality, bro. So if you have, so if you become a boss, right, you have to sleep with every employee that you have that's female, right? So if you own a company, you can't put a chick to work. You, you're going to hire all males because from your point of view, you need to deal with women sexually all the time, right? So they can't come work for you. You can't tell women what to do. You can't tell them how to work for you, right? Real men are going to understand what I'm saying. When you don't view everything so sexual all the time, you take your little punk ass feelings out of it. Because is it about business or is it about love? That's what you dudes are so focused on, caring about the body count. Well, I want a pair bond. I want her to love me. I want her to... Bro, that fantasy shit's for the women, bro. And they even get it more than dudes get it. Like, let's be real here. No, no, 
no, I'm not even going to speak on that, the working part, because that's too much game. But I'm going to say something right now about dudes who think that women are so big into looks and stuff. Yes, women like looks, but dudes are dudes are the ones that care about looks so much. She's a baddie, bro. She's this, bro. Blah, 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 bro. All of that shit. But see, a woman has more game because a woman will go out with a dude maybe less attractive than the attractive dude. Maybe a little bit less attractive. He's not as tall, but he comes with way more benefits and she still respects him because he acts masculine. Even if she don't respect him and she uses him, she just she does what she does. But men, on the other hand, always focused on, yo, bro, she's a, yo, she's a, what? She's a baddie, bro. Like, yo, at least I got the smash. Yo, bro, yo, I cannot believe, yo, this chick, bro, she's so bad. I slid in her DMs. She gave me a one word answer. Yo, I'm that dude, bro. I think I got something here, bro. Right? But it's never about what she can do for you. It's never about how you can put her in position to work for you, to work for your time, your attention. Do you know that you could bag a chick who has money like that? Y'all yeah, place so much value on looks, you guys never stop to think about how do knuckleheads get these baddies pregnant, these dudes that don't have two nickels to rub together? How? Why are women looking for dudes that are like in prison and shit, being pen pals with these dudes, these buff-ass, jacked-ass dudes and shit? Be like chicks who are like good-paying jobs, having good positions and shit. Writing dudes letters in jail and shit. Bro, I'm ending this live with this redemption story. Think about everything I just said. Get your head out of being so goddamn sexual all the time. Because when you have a lot of sex, you honestly realize that it ain't special anyway. It's more about what she can do for you. Can you get rich together? Like, as a man, you're going to be successful. But are you with a winner? The chick that is even trying to get your dick, bro. Is she a winner? I got haters. I got haters. Grizz, Grizz, I want to thank you so much, Grizz, because instead of logging off or telling me that, you know, telling YouTube to not recommend my channel, you gave me more attention. And whether it's good or bad, you push me in the algorithm. Great job, brother. So let's get into this, you know, this story. You know, so I know this chick. I know this chick, right? So she actually is friends. Well, not friends, just associates with my main chick, right? Batty. Shut the hell up. Batty, right? Batty archetype. So I meet her one time, and I could tell just by her walking in the room type of shit she's on. This chick's very narcissistic. Meets a good dude. Meets a good dude. Dude who has a good job. Dude who is, um, you know, put together in his life. She even said out of her own mouth, he's more attractive than her ex. You know, she was very ungrateful, told this dude something to the effect of, you know, I think we just need a couple of days, babe. I'm not sure about us moving together. Who says that? Who says that to a man that they respect and admire? And even before that, she was acting goofy. Now, I hope this brother saw one of my videos and I keep saying he saw one of my videos. Smooth, no contact. Send her a text like, you know what? You were right. Think, you know, I think we do need space apart. No contact. No contact. This chick is 26. She, she look good. I'm not going to lie. She, she look good. She ain't anything special. But, you know, it's with that attitude of, you know, I don't have to work for a man. 
I don't have to work for a man. A man has to be on my time, but not noticing that this dude had a lot of good qualities. He really cared about this chick. But here's where the story gets better. You know, she was always saying she wasn't sure about him and stuff like that. But now that he went no contact, now that he went no contact, well, you know, we had a playlist together and he added two new songs to it. Uh, do you think that he's thinking about me? What? Why is you worried about what he's doing? You're done now. That's why I tell dudes, what does he seem butthurt if I block her or whatever? What do you care for? You're done. She's done. Y'all shouldn't care about what anybody thinks. But see how she was trying to play this dude like he wasn't important like that? Remember that? Remember how she was trying to play him out like he wasn't that important? But when I'm telling you right now, he had a talk or saw one of my videos. Dude went no contact. It's a wrap. He's done. He's done being disrespected. Now, she knows that she missed out. She never knows when a good dude's gonna come around again because she knows when some dick will come around again. She can just go outside. So don't worry now, guys. Grizz is gone. This is like a classroom. And, um, you know, if you don't want to behave, I'll send you to the principal's office. I'll send you to detention. We're not dealing with these little kids, bro. So it's very funny. They don't understand that they're making me important, bro. It's like how I say, you know, women are special. You're literally making some dude important, bro. You're making me more important by you hating on me. Because in order for you to hate on me, see, he's like, show your girl, show your girl, show your girl. Why? Because you think, well, if I was him, I would have this. Or if I was him, I would do this. I would be able to show this. You see, the mindset gets exposed. That's why I always try to give you guys teachable lessons that you can take from. Even right there with a hater. That's a teachable moment, bro. Could I upload the instrumental? No, no, that's a secret sauce. But look, all I'm trying to say about that redemption story from my, my homie, bro, you gotta listen. He took his power back, bro, once he went no contact. And this chick who thinks that she's a baddie and that she looks all good, she really thinks that she's all that in a bag of chips. So if you was, why can't you go get another high value dude or whatever the fuck like that? She's only 26, sweating bullets, sweating bullets. Oh, do you, it's been a week now since he went no contact. You know, do I, um, you know, what, how do I, you know, I don't know. And she's very narcissistic. But if he really cared about me, he would, you know, maybe that's a signal that, you know, God's telling me he's not the one and shit. Okay, so even if you believe that, why do you keep asking questions? Why do you keep talking about him? Because you hate the fact that you lost the attention. You hate the fact that that dude realized his worth and went no contact. I'm telling you. That no contact is powerful. I don't care how pretty she is. I don't care how many options, how many opportunities you think she got. If you're getting disrespected by a chick, no contact. Straight like that. That's how we're moving out here. Proud of that, brother. Realized his worth, snapped out of it, and, and understood that I'm better than you. I'm better than you. I shouldn't even be, have been being that nice to you. All right, Venom get, Ventum, get with me in the back end, bro. Justin J underscore. Justin, did you send a super chat? I don't think you did. You didn't, because I said send a super chat if you don't want me to ignore. If like if you want to get a for sure answer, you didn't send a super chat, but yet you keep asking me the same thing over and over. You know the game is to be sold, it's not to be told. You understand that, right? And real men understand like value for value, that trade-off. You understand that, right? This is life-changing shit. Right? You want, all right. Thank, there you go. All right. Well, I'm about to get out of here, bro. But listen, that no contact story, bro, I'm proud of, bro. Yeah, you could get a copy of the rules, but you got to send a donation. Like I was just telling this brother, go on my Instagram, okay? I will send you the flyer. Just DM me. I will send you the Cash App, PayPal, Venmo links. Or like you could just look my name up on there. Send a donation, you unlock the list. If you want a one-on-one -on -one call, send a donation. If you want merch, 
You have to pay for it. I got my own store. So you hemgang.store. We got hoodies, sweaters, uh, we got long sleeves about to come out. We got him gang t-shirts. You are him, they are them t-shirts. And I'm about to do the whole sweatsuits because where I'm at, it's about to get cold. So you know you guys will have access to those. But it's been a fun live. And I really hope that you know I opened up your mind about how to improve your dating life and develop a, you know, a standard of how you deal with women. It's been real. I'm going to get with you guys in the next one. Stay positive, my boys.